Tess, you actually have sleep in the stationers. You actually have sleeping rooms for you to log off to. Oh, you have well, to I've build never, that. I've never seen those before, but that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's that's like, yeah, th that is very important to build. <clears throat> okay, I wasn't sure how beds work because I've never built them, but I'll have to add that to my review. All right, one moment. Beds and what? It's not necessarily beds. beds. Yeah, it's beds. something else. Okay. Well, um, it's basically there's bad, there's right? a mechanic to to save you though, so like to help you survive and be in. Um. You'll be all right essentially. So but I, I, I missed the game you were talking about. Uh, stationers. Ah, never played that. Here we go. Uh, all right, I've got his character sheet. We're good. Should be able to control now. Go ahead, give it a shot. Did, did everybody just get his character sheet? Because uh, his sheet just popped up on my screen. Huh. Oh. Uh. Well, it doesn't a... matter. Uh, it Tess, doesn't there, matter. There's just... a second way to deal with your inventory, and it's more uh -huh. buttons than mouse. Okay. Okay, you guys are okay. Here we go. Last we left off, you guys, a sniper brought you along, uh, set up a position, in a good position around this encampment. You guys were concealed in the forest, using the dense jungle to hide, just before engagement. And so, whatever your characters here? see, who? Gilmug. What? I was yeah, he's just here. making sure if you were here. And I no, he's here. I'm still half asleep. No, no, no worries, man. Like I said, if you are tired and you don't think you can possibly play, go ahead. Take it easy, man. We'll just put I some... Have, some have have if you're a baby. Through that thing. Yeah, we will only think little of you if you do abandon yeah. this, though. I will only think little of myself. Anyway, but yeah, I'm in the same boat with you. I'd stay up till like three or four. Actually, four since time changed. Jesus. Anyways. Okay, so where we last left off, the, the sniper you guys found, guy, uh, you guys discussed with him, he was telling you about the, the village and uh, the enemies nearby, kind of what he's been dealing with. And uh, you guys are making an attempt to, are you making an attempt to save the guardsmen? Because that's what his goal is. Or are you guys just going there to get intel? And kill everything. I mean, we are the Death Watch. It is our job to kill everything. Right. That's that's what my assumption was. Like, your characters acknowledge that he's there. Good intel. Great. I could care less if your guys live or die. Uh, that's what my assumption your character's demeanor would be. Well, I would like to roll for fellowship to see if we should save the Imperial Guardsmen or not. Why would you do that? I don't know. You don't need to roll a fellowship to decide if you're going to rescue someone. Right. Fellowship's not a yeah, morality but, contest. but shouldn't I have to make a check because I am a space marine and I'm not an Iron no, Snake? No, you're, you're a role player. You make the decision. Yeah, yeah but that, I'd like to have the you. dice decide. It's more fun. Well, if you want to be an agent of chaos, you go right ahead and roll those dice. Chaos? Chaos is heresy, brother. You're, you're letting roll fate of... decide a roll of a die. <laughs> That's chaos. You're not trusting okay. the Emperor <laughs> and following his will is what you're doing. Okay, you are roll, correct. Uh, roll 1d10. If it's higher than 5, you save him. Lower than 5, you don't save him. There you go. Let fate decide. Alright, alright, alright. Hold up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. Yes, the very interesting thing is like a morality thing. What is your character gonna do this? Sounds like, uh, uh, honestly, I... It's up to what your character's demeanor is, and if it's within the, the scope of what he is. Oh, minus trade. one. Okay. So, no. He could care less. I could care less about some Imperial Guardsman. He gave us the what intel we needed. What are you doing? Stop talking so loud. We're about to ambush these orcs. I think you forgot well, that last time I got a critical fail on my stealth check. No, they, I mean, we they have don't... A headset. <clears throat> 
Yeah, yeah, but they <laughs> don't know where you're at. They just know something's in the area. And it sounded like a kill a can. Yep. Which, by the way, is this big orc. Yeah, I yeah, I don't have it. a... I don't, I have don't a see it, though. I don't think Crazy. any of us see that. It's in the fog of war. Yeah. I see it, and all of you guys are ahead of me. You have a weird vision, Capone. You were pointing out shit that was always in the dark for me. <laughs> I wonder if you're... Let me go look at your character sheet with that uh, yell mug. What's your character Hey, character? hey, I'm plus 10 in, trained in awareness. The, okay, <laughs> so it makes, it makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> you get your GM hands away from this. <laughs> I don't have any black on my vision. It's all full. I don't need fog of war. Okay, so are you, are you relaying the information with what you see there, Ancius? Yeah, sure, since I now know that I can see further than everybody. Uh, there is an Achilla can directly to our southeast by about two or three degrees off uh, 180. So you could probably. Right, yeah. Yep. Measure it and all that stuff. Uh, How should we no handle angles. this? Well, we have an orc directly here. I think there was another one over and here. here. And here. And here. And I think right there. And Thomas, are are these guardsmen? Yep. Okay. So, as a former, you can see those. As a former commander of a Predator tank, I've fought several Killicans before. Their rear armor is weaker, so perhaps we could aim for that. Okay, then I'll move up slightly and aim for its rear as it's oh, facing the other direction currently. So be quiet, everyone, while I take aim. I hold up my auger. Maybe I could just punch a hole through it and you can shoot its insides. You want to, um,. So I'd rather you not be immediately next to it when I shoot it with a crack missile that explodes. <laughs> now, after I shoot it for the first time, then we can probably get close and do stuff. But let me at least try and hit it once while it's, none of us are it's, near it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's enormous. So I, I, let me see what the, the, the enormous gives you a bonus to hitting it. I think it's pretty high. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know how many categories above uh, large it is. But, like, large is a plus 10. I don't know what's past that as far as this spell say, system. But yeah, let me look it up a, real quick. It's like plus 10 for every category above medium. So are we going to roll for initiative? Um, wait, oh wait, I have a... I have a, I have a, uh, I have a thought. What yeah. if we have a small flanking force? To distract the kill, uh, killer can, so that the crack missile we can hit the hit the killer can plus, that's front behind. Plus twenty. Okay, cool. I mean, that's that's a that's a good idea. Uh, so we all went ahead. I don't know, left or right, to draw forces. Just you know, right. be on the lookout of uh, traps. But uh, quietly, silently, as I pointedly look at our tech marine. <laughs> quietly get into position. Okay, I'll do I my best, that's... brother. And you'll know I when think... to spring into action when I shoot the crack missile. All right, I'm gonna or hell let, or all hell let loose. Yeah, I mean, if they attack you first, then you know, just everybody go. All right, yeah, I don't think the tech marine check. should no, oh, should no. be the flanking force. You stay here with me, tech marine. Bunker down. Get ready. Yes, sir. So, uh, because I'm in control of Dandy 16's character, Wrong. Karnoff. What? I'm going to move. What? He's going to move with uh, whoever's doing the flanking. So, who's flanking right now? Uh, no one? We're flanking around, too. Probably me. Okay. Well, you went directly oh. ahead, so I wouldn't really call that flanking. Well, uh, again, I can barely see, and yeah, there's an orc in the way. Over okay, there. so if you're going to want to... Oh, um, I can see me, it. He's down here. Let me see. You want to flank 
this direction or this direction? Uh, I think we want the. Darkness, we'll flank though. right. Every uh, it's... line you made is dark. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better to go to the left. The second option. Left? Because. Yeah, I don't think we're going to the right. On the right. If you go to the right, you're more directly against the uh, the kill it can. If you go to the left, um, then you have to fight through two orcs. Yep. Okay. Well. Well, I was thinking of right. going further to the right, and then go all the way around. I know that the right. Minutes. You mean the left? Yeah. Sorry, I'm going left. with. Uh, I'm using my left and rights as in how I'm looking at the screen. Are you using your left and right as the which way our characters He's are facing? Using left I'm, I'm thinking. I'm think. West. I'm really thinking about the left on the screen. Okay. How I'm so measuring it. Right. I've been confusing with my left and right lately. I don't know why. It cool. happens. I remember the area all the way over here is an orc. Sorry, some. Uh, yeah, that's what geez. we're uh, about to, to go into. Stop. So you're correct. So, so I, mm. I just want to point out that. It shouldn't matter how far we go mm -hmm. for the flanking because we are moving through a dense forest. He's not going to see it, and he's th he's looking through what? a tiny vision slit on his kill a can. He's not no, going to see a flank. Culper, Culper, you see my red arrow here? Yeah. I see it. That's in, that's all the orc base. We can't circle around that far. Okay, well, well we're, not, the we're not going base. there. So I then, say, uh, but how do you, if you guys uh, go over this direction, um, and the rest of us go this direction as you're drawing fire, we can uh, do a pincer maneuver and kind of flank them on both sides. Yes, yeah. like what that arrow's uh, the turquoise arrow was doing, and then my blue arrow. Okay, who would be the blue arrow? The people with guns or the people with melee? Guns. Because the the guy, I think the guys with melee should go to the left and down, and those of us with guns should go this way to the right. Um, because the moment uh, you guys with the melee draw attention, uh, they're gonna swarm that way. Yep. Sure, let's but do isn't it. Isn't it right here? It is right there. There's a there. Is, uh, the killer can is here. So, here's a question. Why don't you guys set up a firing line somewhere around here, or or here, or uh, around here, and then the two melee people will sneak attack it? You're a bit quiet, Moth. And Sorry. yeah, I, th I think that's, I think Moth's idea is a good idea. I don't know if she's so sneaking attacking. I just want to point out that if I shoot it with a rocket launcher and you're directly next to it, you will get hit by the same blast that it's, that's going to hit it. There's no way. How big the radius that. on the missile? Uh, crack missiles is just one, but that's still melee range. Okay, hey. so it's a five meter blast radius. It's a one meter blast radius. So as you guys are discussing, we have this okay, time to come so back. Okay, so as long as you don't shoot us in the back we should be fine right but if i hit we are on the it, other side and you're in of... melee range of it yeah it's it's a it's a killer can right they're how big i'm, I'm saying it's probably bigger than three feet by three feet oh well, sure so if we're on the other side of the killer can behind it if, yeah if you're on the other side that should be fine i think yeah. our gm wanted to <laughs> say something oh hold up i want to i'm role playing hold up all right. No worries. You keep doing your keep discussing. All right. I think, I think it'll be better if the melees are focused on the ogres while the range are focusing on killer hand. Again, I just want to point out, I have Damn a it. breaching auger. I can literally shovel a hole in this thing in one hit. Oh my god. And it Shut can up, literally pull a hole, hole, hole into you in one hit as well. If it can hit me, I'm pretty dodgy. There's no reason for undue danger. I see you know, throw a crack at it once, then go in on it. I'm, I'm just, my plan here is, 
I sneak up to it, I pop a hole in it, and I run like hell away while everybody else flies into it. You're also going to be sneaking that's... into the midst of a bunch of orcs. Well, Brother Antius, there, right? a guardsman is because tapping you on the shoulder. See. Oh, uh, I look over at the guardsman. <laughs> the guardsman is now typing. Yep. No, oh, I gotta translate again. Give signals. <laughs> yep, he's doing uh, signals. Oh, I forget where was I rolling last time. Uh, Tactics. Green war. Yep. Or war. Tactics. I was rolling tactics. Hey, I understood it this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, he, he's I telling think it's you he's the same thing. right. He's telling you found like a like a a passageway where they can't really see, like a valleyway. Uh, oh. Over in this direction. So he says uh, he's going to set up there. Okay. And he's like, do you guys want to set up anything there? R relay this to the squad. Hey, so apparently the orcs don't have a sight. On the right side of the map, our left side. Um, over this direction. There's a tunnel. That's, that would be a better pincer move, uh, movement, huh? Oh, if there's a tunnel over there, we can get we can. Not go... not a tunnel. Uh, not valley. a tunnel. Just it blocks line of sight. Oh, okay. Blocks line of sight, like a valley type of thing. He didn't. He it. doesn't describe, it, but he says valley in his signals. He can't. He can't utter the words, but he's valley. The signal he gives. Valley concealment. Uh, set a position. Cover. Yep. So how about this? That's a good firing line line then, huh? How about or, this? Melees go over to the side, right? Get close to this killer can that's down here. When I shoot the thing in the back, because that's its weakest point right now, then you rush in and punch the shit out of it. And if you uh, come in from this side, then me shooting it in the back won't hit you. Here's, here's another idea, right? So... If we know which way the Killican is facing, that can mm -hmm. change up our tactics. If he's facing towards us, which he should be, then the melee characters he's, can engage from the front. The, he's currently the facing crack. away from us. He's facing away from us. Okay. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. He's Got currently it. facing away from Got us. Got it. So, I can shoot him in the back now. Melee can go around the should side. should have understood that information. If that's the case, and that might be the killing blow. Oh, yeah, right down there. I, I don't like, think I heard you say Sniper's crazy. already killing shit, so. <laughs> uh, I think the, uh... The snipers are going to outshine us all if uh, y'all don't make a decision. Well, you're in charge, brother. Go you tell us what to do. Half of you go over there to the side and flank. All right. Karnoff nods in approval as he goes around to the side to flank through the valley. Yeah, he rolled really good, because I was going to give three attempts to kill that orc in the tree, and he rolled really well. <laughs> and he's like, boop, he's dead. Okay, <laughs> sweet. All right. While they're moving over, I give a look to the two that are next to us, and I go, get ready to start laying into them. And then I would like to take a full round action... To pray to the God Emperor that my missile flies true. Right. Then I would like to take a full round action to aim my missile launcher. Then I would like to fire the missile launcher, signaling uh, the the attack to begin. And hopefully by the time I fire. There still be some orcs left on the field that the sniper just, hasn't just obliterated. Right, you just see orcs drop. You just see, you see, you don't even see anything. You just see them drop, and then you hear nothing. So, God, I hate that in Roll Twenty when you click on a character, the little thing to rotate your character gets blocked by the pop-ups. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay. Cool. So, I'm I'm shooting it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so plus 20 because he's big and fat, plus 20 because I got a, uh, I did a full round uh, aim action. 
Any other modifiers? Don't the praying to the pray. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna push modifier. For that. I'm gonna push for that. But uh, is there any other modifiers currently before I push for that? Boca. Uh, let's see. So you're. It is pretty big. Uh, it is. When you're looking at it, it's covered in moss and green, but you can see obviously there. So I guess minus ten, you might think uh, another bush is part of that design or mech mecca. So okay. that's the only thing I can think of. So any bonuses for zealotry, uh, zealotry playing uh, praying to the god emperor to guide my missile? Oh, give me a second there. Do, 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 do. I'll make it there was a right highest now. stat. I'd roll it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the gods, they acknowledge you, but they do not give you any bonuses. Okay. Well, I don't uh, care about the gods. I only care about the god emperor. The god yeah, emperor, the sorry. No, I'm no, thinking D&D. God emperor. <laughs> the chaos <laughs> gods. <laughs> I hope you're not praying to the god chaos emperor. gods. I would never pray to the chaos gods. Only the changer of ways. Fuck, that is a chaos god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soul drinker and I didn't even realize it. Oh no. <laughs> There's only oh, one god, you. the Omnissiah. Hey, do you, do you do your damage? Oh, I just hit, so. Yeah, you rolled yeah, the yes. oh. I think you're good. Yeah, you hit real good. I think the ever actually did recognize. You hit straight in the back. Come on, get those crits. <laughs> right. Oh man! Whoa. That's Holy crap! Damn close. Is that all the damage it can do? Uh, well, I mean that's I got two nines, a seven, and a five. Plus it's normal six, so that's the damage it does. Uh, with, yeah, it's ten penetration. Ten. Remove five of that. Okay. Or I'll, I'll um. Five of that. What? Yeah, yeah 15, probably 15, 15, 15 armor. armor. Fifteen armor. So. Oh, okay, so thirty-one damage. To its back. Yeah, they know you're here. You see that thing kind of fall down and then just kind of, or not fall down, uh, tilt over forward. Hang on, then, can, uh, can, I, can I describe the impact of the missile? Sure. Sure. All right. As the missile flies towards the kill a can, it hits the back, sparks flying everywhere, and uh, as the smoke clears, it looks almost as if a hole has been drilled straight through the armor. And there's fire inside of the can. There we go. Wait. So, okay. initiatives. All right, I'm going to roll I, this shit. I'm, I'm just going to clear everything, and then I'm gonna, we can add. Because it always off. seems to stuff up. <laughs> there we go. One d ten plus... Read. Hang on. I gotta figure out what this initiative roll is. Oh, shit, nope. You know, I started to think that I, I should have uh, fired at the killer can as soon as, soon as he stayed up, or the smoke clears. <clears throat> then roll initiative. Can I still do that, or no? What can you do? You should fire my heavy bolter against the killer can before initiative. Mm. I mean, uh, technically, the uh, the missile was the signal to attack. Right. So we all could like you know had our held actions to wait for the signal. Yep. Signals received. Combat initiated. So. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for some reason, the, uh... And I rolled three times, but I'm going after the, my first one. It just took me three times to get it, me into the initiative tracker. Ah. Yeah. So that's why my last one says six, but I marked myself as 12, because that was my first roll. No, no, no worries. I trust, I trust you to be... Uh, honest. The honor, honor system. system. Oh. Ten plus... Five. Sorry, I'm still getting the initiative in there. Okay. There we go. Uh, did you forget we had the uh, that cool tracker macro? 
Yeah, I, I, I would, but you still have to have your thing. character clicked. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I was using the wrong macro for that, so that was my bad. There we go. Okay. Now they should populate there. All right. So enemies go first. Karnoth and Anth and Antius and Dude, for that matter, all tied. Uh, looks like allies are dead last. Uh, Moth goes after the 12. Yeah. Can we sort this? I think only GM can sort it. Uh, only easy way to manipulate the 12s is put a decimal and then your uh, agility bonus after it. That should sort the order pretty well for that. Okay, there we go. I can sort it. Only I can sort it. Yeah. You guys all done? Yeah. Okay, so the first section is this thing is going to turn around. It's going to. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's, go it's going to do. Let's see. This. I'm going to give it. I mean, I imagine there's a nice uh, trail of smoke uh, drawing a perfect line straight to me. Right. <laughs> yeah, from that crack missile. Right. Oh, wouldn't it be a white trail of smoke then? It's still a trail of smoke. So this is this guy is going to take a shot at the nearest thing he could see. I don't know. Maybe our uh, our tech marines or our tech priests put up uh, uh, some red dye uh, in the in the smoke, so it's red smoke. How far is? Okay, so I could move. Maybe I did, or maybe I didn't even know that was a thing, so I never did it. <laughs> so it's moving up. Moves up a bit, and it's gonna fire. The nearest thing it sees, it hits. Oh, jeez, that's a good uh -oh. one. Oh, it, it murders the poor sniper dude. He just you just see a spray of ass into that tree and uh Does the sniper not get to dodge? I mean he's so epic. <laughs> oh, uh let's see if he can dodge. Let's see. He's he's like super epic. He's just gonna dodge right into the spray. Uh give me a second. <laughs> but why are the survivor guardsmen shooting at the other guardsmen? That doesn't make any sense. He succeeded. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He yeah, succeeded. You, just, you see this guy jump out of that tree, back in that trench, and you see that tree just dissolve as it's just hosing it down. Shh. Shh. Yep. Uh, let's see. Da -da. But I thought it was a massive redwood. We couldn't kill it in one volley. No, it's spraying the tree down. It's a, it's not destroying the tree. You did say the tree disintegrated. Yeah, I mean... A part of the it, tree disintegrated. The same right. way a part of the tree disintegrated when you punched the last one. Right. <laughs> I'm just clarifying. I'm still salty about the tree suddenly becoming redwoods when I punch one. Mm, they didn't I, mean, I think he redwoods. described they were redwoods before you punched it. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. We'll have to check the VOD to know for sure. Massive trees, it's right? It's been more than a week. I could be wrong. <laughs> well, I did describe them as massive I mean, trees, not itty-bitty tre trees. Have you ever seen a 100-year-old oak? They get pretty big. They do get big. I just big figured big. they were just really old oak trees or something. All right. As long as it's goes. still live, it's sturdy. All right. So, um, let's see. I got I'm just looking at Karnoth's sheet. <laughs> Corrosive. Oh, wow. He has a lot of talents. I'm looking through those to see if any of them... Yeah, you do not want to be hit with corrosive, at, like at all. Uh, so yeah, it rolls a one d five. Yeah, it rolls a one. Well, here's what it does, just so you guys know. It rolls a one d five, and for every point of damage, it deals 
it removes strips that armor from you. Ooh. It's just gone. So yeah, that's you, no good. Right, those nets they've been tossing at you is those things. You do not want to be hit by those. So. All right. So, Karnoff is the same applies to the robot. Yeah, he's spraying you. Yeah, he sprays. Our noble uh, black shield Karnoff is going to jump behind the uh, kill a can and attempt to hit it with uh, his chain sword. Is he doing? Oh, he he doesn't do have to do a check for pilot check for jumping. Okay. Oh yeah, the pilot check. Okay. I don't think he has to do that anymore. Really? He, he, he got uh, his jetpack upgraded. Remember? Oh right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So he could just do it. So do your thing. Okay. And then let's see. He is going to do a sure strike, which is a precision strike, and then flip the hit roll for hit location. Uh, and we're going to do the Astartus Chain Sword, which is 1d10 plus 5. So we're going to roll yeah, a 2-hit yeah, modifier. Yeah, I have Huh? Modifier on the 2-hit roll for Chain Sword. Uh, minus 10. Minus 10. But plus 20 because he's a big target. Yes, plus 20. So plus 10 total. Mm -hmm. Plus whatever bonus he gets for charging, which I think is another 10. Yep. Okay, 20. All right, here we go. Ooh, damn, okay. he succeeded. Do your damage. All right. Rolling damage. All right. There it is. Oh, that's all. Okay. Is that his chain sword, though? That's the Astartes chain sword. I mean, it that's is right. his. That's, that's... Is it his chain sword? Yeah, he's got I mean, like a huge two hander with a lot of damage on it. Yeah, make sure you're using his. I don't think that's the right weapon. Because that's the standard oh, I see. chain sword. That's not his chain sword. Okay, he's got Blade of the Black Shield, so I see that now. Mm -hmm. So should I yeah. do another two-hit roll for that one? No, just roll it, because it'll be the same the attack modifier. Okay, here we go. That seems uh, better. It's a little bit better, marginally better. So 10 of that's gone, so 22 gets through. Uh, that thing dies. Really? Uh, okay. Cool. That missile. Well, it was also tearing, so you could have rolled uh, an extra, you know, 1d10 to see and re replace that 3, but cool, it, it dies anyway. Yeah, because with his missile, uh, it only has 50 health. It doesn't have a whole lot. So you just kind of go low. ahead and describe. That's All right. what it got. That's so what it got. Seeing the, seeing the hole on the back of the uh, kill a can from the crack missile, Karnoth charges at it plunges his chain sword into the hole, opening it up bigger, and jumps inside the kill a can and uh, basically disembowels the pilot. And the kill a can falls over and he jumps out of it triumphantly. And then nods his head in approval. <laughs> you wouldn't like his other armor stats for everything else. <laughs> okay. So I think, I think it's, it's survivability is his armor. Is is that natural armor too? No, a, uh, kill a can's a mech, so it would be a mech. metal. Yeah, it's, it's a just giant mech. Stand, yeah, so it would just straight up reduce your armor. So it's not there. You can't reduce its toughness or anything like that. Okay, so it doesn't. Uh, it won't work if I fired a hellfire against it. Correct. You would still get your uh, righteous furies, but um, just not. You wouldn't ignore his armor. Gotcha. Kraken rounds would be better against high armor targets. Right. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you guys got a really good shot off that one, for sure. I was hoping your miss would fail and you had to fight the full might of this thing, but oh well. It is what it is. You. We knew how to kill things, but we still have all the other works to kill. I'm sure there will be more kill cans in the future. <laughs> To give right, us a so, run for our money. So, to make this go. Alrighty. <laughs> Jeez, we can't really run. Wow. This is a big map. 
I'm going to guess this uh, this work right here is in cover, looks like, or... You get, I mean, because the jungle is so dense, I mean, you get the minus, I think it was minus 10, shooting through. Minus 10, yeah. That's half the range, though, for our, my bolter. Yep. So. Nice. Also, to let you know, Kraken rounds also uh, increase the range by 50%. Yeah. I saw that. Another good reason to use Kraken rounds. Yeah. All righty. I will fire the heavy bolter against this orc right here. So you said my um, minus ten. Yep. All right, I'm gonna do plus thirty because I have a bunch of other things like uh, motion detector, worst signature, and one more thing I can't remember top of my head. Well, if you're doing full auto, you get an additional plus twenty. Okay. Yeah, it's always full auto. I just realized when I was doing all of Karnoth's stuff, I didn't pick the character in the chat. Oh, well. All right. Good. I'm going to do a plus 30 modifier. I think that's the right one. A hit? That's a hit. All right. He's super dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mow down. That's, that's my turn. Antius, go. Sweet. Um, I'm going to... Oh, jeez. Um... If I were to aim at this guy... Oh, the, yeah, there's an orc there. Yeah. Yeah, let me just move the killer can off so you guys can see a little better. Alright. Seeing better would be nice. Cool. I'll do my, my free move action and then uh, <clears throat> aim at this guy. Uh, I don't have all those super fancy bonuses, so I'm just going to take a full round action and aim. Okay. And that's my turn. Because I can take a full round action and get a plus 20 on my next shot. Okay. The best of field go. Okay. I can see nothing, so I don't know what's going on. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to fix your shit. Hold up. I mean, I can see other, a couple other people's tones of visions. You, you know? Yeah, there's still nothing except trees on my end. There's no enemies. I... And move. You just move. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. I literally can't do anything else. Yep. Okay. Right. Neil Tyron, go. All right. Uh, I'm going to take aim at the nearest enemy, which I think is what this work right here. Yep. Uh, minus twenty. All right. It's all the all the rock and debris in the way. He's partial cover. Yeah, I'm going to try and shoot him with the Astartus Bolter with the Fire Selector. I'm do minus 20. Uh, I'm in full auto, by the way. So do I get any bonuses for that? Plus 20 for full auto. Okay, so modifier 0 then. All right. Well, I whiff the shot. Pew, pew, pew. My shots miss. Go wide. What weapon were you using? He goes wide and kills this guy. Oh no. 
okay. Imperial That's Guardsmen that I arbitrarily don't care about because I rolled badly on my fellowship. It's not right. that you arbitrarily <laughs> don't care, it's that you're a space marine and they're beneath you. <laughs> why, why would you care about ants? Well, because I I, ro I did a fellowship roll. You might have been AFK for that. No, I wasn't. I Space Marines don't care about random humans. Okay. It's just how they are. Depends on the Space Marines. It does. It's like one group and nobody says Salamander, so it doesn't matter for us. Well, in my case, it depends on my fellowship roll, which I failed. So there you go. And technically, Iron Snakes, while well, they are somewhat indifferent, they're not like, oh, I don't care, a person died. It's, oh, no, I failed, a person died. So uh, Iron Snakes are a little bit more, I guess, empathetic towards non-Space Marines. Yeah. But that's all lore. Right. So chapter-wise, I actually have reason to not hate people. Yeah. Or think them completely beneath me. All right, so after seeing all this carnage, the orcs break. Oh. So they're going to run. Oh, that was a minus 50 on their How many of them have fallen to their own traps? Say again? So how many of them trip and fall into their own traps? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> None. What? No. Uh, oh, this no. orc's gonna, yeah, this orc's going to come this way. And he's going to... Toss something. Oh, you got a little quiet, Boko. Oh, saying this guy's going to toss something. Let me see where it's at. So he's not going to run away. One of them is not going to run away. The rest are. Is he going to attack Karnoff? Uh, he sees... No, he doesn't see that guy. Shit, he didn't... Oh, Karnoff, yeah, he'd be right there. That's right. He does not see our sniper friend. Get away from our sniper, buddy. He Stop trying to kill our sniper. Right, let's see. Do, do, do. Ah, here it is. Okay. Misses wildly with that net. <laughs> and that's Karnoff skillfully... Uh, skillfully turns his head, watching the net miss him uh, by a wide margin. And then, uh, and then nods in uh, disappointment in the orc skills. Yep, and now it's his go. You just say he skillfully watched, watches as he, uh, yes. the net misses him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was prepared to try and dodge, but he realized he didn't need to. All right, so it's now Karnoff's turn, and uh, Karnoff, uh, slightly perturbed at the uh, orc trying to throw a net at him, will move up and uh, melee attack this orc. Go for it. All right. I'm going to do a two-hit roll modifier on that. Uh, plus 20. And then I think it's... Another 10, right? Is that what we said earlier? Or is it just plus 20? Full auto is just plus 20. Be well, he's, he's, not, he's not full auto. He's uh, he's attacking with the uh, melee weapon. Yeah, I'm giving you plus 20. Oh, okay, all right. Here we go. Okay, that succeeds. Going to do the damage roll. Ooh, 36 damage and tearing. Ow. Yeah. That would be pretty painful. So, how does tearing work again? You just roll just uh, another d uh, You just roll another 1d10 and replace the lowest value. Okay. So, roll one. in this particular one, if anything's better than a 5. Oh, yeah, that's better it. than a 5. So. Oh, and because that one's a 10, that means you get uh, another free damage roll against the guy. Oh, another free roll. damage roll? Okay. Yep, Righteous of the Fury, or Furious Righteous Fury. And then you can do another tearing on that one. Yeah, go ahead and describe how you kill this guy. Yeah, he's fucking dead. I'm just gonna do... 
I'm going to do it for the meme to see how much damage we can stack up on this poor orc. Okay, well that didn't... Alright. So, exactly the same. Uh, Karnoth swings the Blade of the Black Shields at the uh, orc, uh, slicing him clean in half, and then uh, kicking the top half of the body and it goes flying. While the legs okay. fall to the ground. <laughs> Sweet. And with that, combat over. The rest of the orcs you just see disappear and vanish. Alright. Sweet. So, uh, due to awareness check on Karnoth there. On Karnoth? Alright. Oh, yeah. Yada yada yada, awareness, here we go. Modifier. Uh, he's standing right next to it, so plus uh, 20. Alright. Uh oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, hopefully he can just dodge it as this is happening. So that thing explodes. I mean, we have, uh,. We oh, the kill a can explodes? Eagles. Yeah, it has a, you know, that corrosive spray in it, and you just blew it up, so... It's... So, corrosive spray. Alright, we're gonna dodge. dodge Ooh! He just dodges out of that, for sure. Actually, artfully dodges out of that. He's a jetpack. Yeah, using the jetpack, Karnoff does several backflips. Uh, and let's see if the survivor... Uh oh. <laughs> and he's gonna take seventeen to the face. Uh he is severely injured and he kinda rolls out of it and he collapses on the ground. Ouch. I'll spend a fake point for him. Alright. This guy's too badass to just let die from a frickin' explosion. Memory gets that plus 10 because of this. Oh, so he's only going to agility 10. Uh, well. He's going to get another dodge roll. Oh no. <laughs> Same thing happens. Okay. Yeah, well, he tried. So. He got acidified. Yep, and he's collapsed on the ground. Collapsed in front of you there, Moth. Okay, I guess I can do the one thing I can do then. Mm. I feel useless as a character. I'm gonna be honest. Really? You can, you can do the one thing you can do? In the last three weeks, I punched a tree. <laughs> that is oh, literally all this character has done. This, <laughs> I, this character is useless here. It is. It feels real bad. Do you Wait, aren't you a medical? Yeah. yeah. So I didn't even useless. Heal useless. I didn't e okay, you remember all those injured guardsmen? I didn't mm -hmm. even get a chance to try to heal them. We just kind of neft. I thought I thought I, you I did. I punched a tree. No, I thought that you did it. heal. I thought you did no, heal. You did heal. No, yeah, did we heal left. Them. We left before yeah. I had a chance to. You stabilized them. They were really nope. beaten up. I I tossed them like three mad packs and we left. I'm pretty that, sure it was more than that that happened. Right. Nope. You, I recall you stabilizing them. Uh, I did right not before. roll to stabilize them at all. All right. Well, the GM has spoken. We stabilize them. Yes. Anyways, yeah. Okay. Right before you, you killed the psyops guy or spec ops guy, <laughs> or not killed him, turned him into a servitor. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, we, we sedated him, we put him into a coma, and he's going to get turned into a servitor, but he hasn't yet. Oh, nice Medicaid roll. Yeah, I can't fail, literally. Sweet. Unless All you right. get minus. 90. You're able to treat his wounds. 
I, actually, you can't you, you can't fail at all. I know. <laughs> modifier minus two hundred. Oh modify. no, I failed. No, no modifier on this because he's just <laughs> healing guardsmen, so. Clean up some of the areas so you guys can see. We so might want to uh, we might want to regroup. Towards... So, Domingus, are, 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 as you're doing that, Domingus, are you checking for traps along the way as you're going yeah. and moving? Yes. Right, go ahead. Go ahead do, uh, awareness. do two new, two awareness checks as you're doing that. Uh, what modifier? Uh, all well, nothing works. Uh, minus 10. And same oh, thing with you. Then, then 10 in total since we have plus 20 or whatever. Sweet. And you, same with you, Tyron, since you're moving in. All right. Uh, you're able to see more of those red rocks, and you're able to avoid those traps that are, that are, that are there. Okay, sweet. You guys have successfully dodged all of the mines, and you show Antius where not to step. Brother Antius, don't step here. There are traps. Step Very over good. here instead. Very good, then. I'll step over here. Oh, look, there's orcs. <laughs> you don't see them. Unless you can see them. Uh, let, me, let me roll their stealth check. Okay. Do I get any modifiers? There's my base modifier. Your base modifier. So. I actually don't see any of the orcs. That's all right. Uh, well, cool. You barely notice anything. <laughs> so I rolled a giggity. Is that what it's called? No, I rolled a 69. Oh, oh I see. 69 giggity. <coughs> yeah, I, didn't, I, yeah. I didn't know so I didn't know it's right Right. I didn't. I didn't know survivor guardsman did a concealment. Oh no, not survivor guardsman. That's the. Uh, I meant to do GM. I'm the sorry. Orcs. The orcs. Yep. The orcs. The orcs. You don't see them. Cool. Well, since I don't see them, I'm gonna stroll straight up to these guardsmen. Cool. As you're rolling up. What is this again? Is this the? If there's are hidden orcs that we don't see. No, there's a building though. Is there? Boxes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bunch of bunch of boxes, and there's two two orcs on there, and they're gonna. Uh, Thomas, is this guy here? Which guy? Oh, the sword. Him? Yeah, I mean, he did say a whole bunch of them ran away, but then that dude's still okay. Cool. What about all these others? Which ones? No, those are the ones that running away. They they they're off. The I mean, map. the ones we can't see because they're in the fog of war. No, they're uh. These guys are the one that ran away, so I'll just consider them dead. In fact, I'll move them over here to the dead pile, make it right. easier. Neil and Karnoth are also going to move you, up with you, the you see the, little, you see the little black face thing? Yeah, it's concealment. Okay. The ninja okay. face, not black ninja face. face. Yeah. Black face is something ninja entirely face. different. Black face. Black face. <laughs> no one's going to control my speech. Anyways, uh, uh so... You cool. got a net. You can dodge it. <laughs> or attempt to dodge it. Because you have the... Who got a net? Antius? Antius and uh, Domingus. Did you fail oh. your check? Alright, let, let me do that again with plus two. Antius dodge? Antius is uh, doing a fate point, I think. Yep. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, there it is. I'm sorry, what, what do I need oh. to... I so saw these 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 two stealth boys set up a trap for you guys. Uh, they're stealth and concealed at the top of that that uh, weapon stockpile, and they just threw nets on you guys as you guys closed in. So you're supposed to roll what was it, an awareness check to see if you can beat their concealment, which is, I believe they got a 66. Let me check. Antius rolled awareness and did not beat their concealment, but he fate pointed a dodge to get yep. out of the way. So yep. you just see two traps. So you see them um, just at, just as they're throwing the nets at Antius there. That's what you see. 
And then, okay, so I don't need to dodge. It's just throwing. Hey, they're trying to kill Antius right now because he's the All first. Right. Okay. Neil and Karnoth are also going to roll for awareness. Yeah, you guys all witnessed the same thing. What just happened? I probably just think it's just traps springing like normal. Right. But you Karnoth guys would sees see nothing. Right, you guys would just see these guys deteleport, throw the nets, and then fade away like they were before. So you guys can take an action and try to shoot them. Because you guys, the ones who succeeded, just got a glimmer of them. All right. I'm going to uh, fire in the direction where they were at with my... Actually, it's 40 meters. So... I'm going to fire uh, full auto on my bolter, and it's within half range. Okay. Minus, uh, minus 30 on the shot. Minus 30. So half range and full auto is going to be another plus 30, so it should be zero, right? Sure. Yeah, zero. Okay. Fire away. Pow, pow, pow. You get him. Do All right. Damage. Roll damage. 13. All right. That's I pretty will, pathetic. I also fire in retaliation with a Nivy Bolter. All right. Um, modifier. That's going to be minus 30 as well. And it's also half range. That's plus 10, right? Uh-huh. So I get plus 20 in total. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do your damage. Oh, man. Yeah, you splat. This guy goes, you just see, out of out of nothing, right? Out of thin air, you see his bullet hit, blood spark, and then yours hit, you just see explosion of blood. And then an uh, orc decloaking. And falling to the ground. And the second one? Brothers, there no. are orcs. Then you murder the them with extreme bigotry. Okay. <laughs> I mean prejudice. <laughs> Same thing, brother. Suffer not to live the Zeno. Well spoken, Tech Marine. Now where are they? It could still be where? hiding in the cache. Go ahead, shoot there. If you want. Go. I just take my time to reload. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to open up the cache. He seems to be hiding in here, right? I'm going to move up to it and uh, look in. Oh, okay. See if I can't find it. Find them. So you're as you're strumming through the uh, this stuff, you see it's a obviously a stockpile of weapons, various weapons, orc, rocks, red rocks, uh you find wooden chests through the stockpile, uh various uh Imperial Guardsmen uh crates as well as you're going through it. I'm gonna do a search roll to see if we can find Anything that's inherently useful to us. Maybe some intel or a special weapon. I hear there's weapons, but no munitions is what you're telling me there, Thomas. You don't see various munitions. Uh, it's a vested seal. Oh, God. You're going to be taking that, that much. Unless you can try to dodge it or be aware. Do awareness check. Oh, wow, that hurts. Yeah. <sighs> Zero you're penetration, though. Yeah, you're not aware. And, I, you know, <clears throat> something stabs you in the back real hard. No, it doesn't. Not hard at all. That doesn't get through my armor. I know. That's all you I, just I get poked with a knife, and I don't even feel it. Okay. It's oh, that's like... right. You're, 
I literally have 21 armor everywhere and 25 on the body. It does nothing. Uh, that's right. You hear a chink. Oh, it really is. It's nothing. just this, you poked a man with a stick. I'm mean, apparently my helmet's malfunctioning, so I can't hear anything either. Right. Those damn tech priests. Okay. Ow, oh, you pistol. Damn it. Wrong one. That one. Attempt to dodge it. Dodge it. I mean, I guess. You still have your senses about you. Sure, but my vision cone doesn't exist. I, I have like a sphere of gray, and I can see other people's vision cones, but I can't see mine. It's all fog of war. That's, that's so weird. Vision. Is it being weird? You have the same settings as everyone else. Weird. Right. Eh? How about now? Still just the fog of war cone got brighter. That's about it. I'm going to need to reset the settings. Similar to like turning off and on again. Yeah, maybe just pull the character off the board and put a new one down. Yeah, because that's really weird. Like, uh, yeah, the same settings as everyone else. I have a feeling it's just the game state <clears throat> going wonky. Yep, uh, let's see. I have a feeling dude is right. Uh, Roll 20 has it. its fair share of jank. Oh yeah, I can see Moth's vision cone now. Hey. Sweet. You just see a net fly past you, or you dodge a net as it's coming, roaring past you, out of nothing. Seemingly. Do you know where it came from? Yeah, I'm gonna be BRB. Okay. Uh, tactical check, I guess. There, Moth. You can kind of determine where the thing came from. You have no freaking idea, but I'm sure your other teammates tell you there was there was two orcs that they saw throw nets at uh, Ancy's character. There were two orcs on top of this cache. They th they were throwing nets. We got one of them, but there might be more. Right, and then. He's doing an awareness checks at this time to see if he can locate this little bastard. Yeah. Sure. All of us? Mm-hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's see, you got 32. You do get a glimmer or something in the oh, tree wow. over here. Karnoff is not it. aware at all. You get it like, like the predator glimmer is what you see. Something climbing up in that tree. There's one in the tree. And then, then I start firing my yep, go ahead. heavy bolter. It'd be a one shot. Make it work. Minus, minus 30. And it'll be plus 20 since it's half distance. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Do your damage. He's dead. You just see a, you just see a torrent of blood. Yeah, you see a torrent of blood explode out of that tree. Wait a minute. I thought even with the full auto, you can only get up to four hits. This is ten. Oh. I can go up to bolter. ten with my heavy, heavy bolter. bolter. Okay. Yeah, you just see a torrent of just red mist and blood everywhere. You're just like what? you're indiscriminate, and you just fire at that tree. <laughs> Go ahead, describe it. As soon as I saw the glimpse of this orc, I I just immediately just start ramming up my heavy boulder and start blessing at the tree. And the tree started to get disintegrated and the orc just fell off. <laughs> that tree's not the only thing that got disintegrated. <laughs> 
I'm assuming your characters would be smart enough to stay away from that corrosive pool of acid or that mech exploded, right? I'm back. Yeah. Welcome cool. back. They they killed the other orc yellbug. You just missed it. Okay, good. Then I don't know to throw a grenade into this chest. Uh, I think there's heating, overheating, right, for my thing? I believe so, if you're going to continue firing. Yeah. I need to double. Okay, yeah, I need to do a tech use. <clears throat> oh, good, it didn't overheat. Sweet. Yeah, after firing a sustained bur burst, the wielder must take successful tech use tests or weapon becomes te uh, temporarily inoperable for 1d5 rounds. So I have to do that every time I fire with that weapon. Are you sure? That's what it says. Because uh, the overheat says uh, any it overheats on a roll of, an attack roll of ninety one or higher. Well, mine did operate to. Uh, let's see, executor heavy bolter mark eight, I think. So I pretty much have a lot more power, but the downside is the overheating attribute. Well, per the overheat rules, certain weapons are prone to overheating uh, because of, you know, whatever. A weapon of this quality overheats on an attack roll of 91 or higher. When that happens, the wielder suffers energy damage equal to the weapon's damage with penetration of zero to an arm location. Uh, the wielder may choose to avoid the damage by dropping it, dropping weapons free action. A weapon that overheats must spend the round afterwards, coin down, and may not be fired again until the second round after overheating. A weapon of this quality does not jam, and any effect that would cause a jam instead causes the weapon to overheat. I, I think this is a, uh, a special modification from the upgrade. Yeah. So it's it's not standard rules thing. Oh, okay. I also posted Drill that rule. Was. I also posted that rule. I yeah, I haven't been following that. Whoops. <clears throat> I need to start remembering to do that. Right. Yeah, so basically every time you fire then from burst or uh, full auto, anything that's not a single shot, you're going to have to make that tech use te uh, test. Yeah. I need to put that note in somewhere. Hey! Which so we get at this point? It's significantly worse than the standard overheating rule. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that's all the immediate threat. Uh, I'm going to then turn to these guardsmen. And go, you there, soldiers, helping them free them from whatever bonds they may be in. Are uh, all of you muffled. okay? Yeah, you see, kind of like uh, like crude bolts, like uh, dotted around their heads and like line mark. They're all been shaven, by the way, too. All their heads. Uh, you you see a relieved look in their face and grabs you in their eyes. He said, "Thank you for saving me. I have crucial information about these jungle orcs. You need to hear." I uh, they they tell you why they were captured. They were overhearing uh, some information about those black rocks, and, and of course they were tracking down this guy beforehand. Um, that the black rocks seem to amplify a weird boy in the area uh, in their ranks, right? And it's using it to cloak the other orcs in the group. Uh, it's making it very difficult for them to track this guy. Uh, and and he says he he, he says if. Also, a very disturbing thing they've noticed, uh, because they, they lost about half their group so far, is they've been using the, the human brains to power this guy. Uh, he doesn't know all the details. Uh, he seems to be a very dangerous orc, the weird boy. And he says, please take this information and use it to bring down this monstrous orc. So you cannot let this, them continue to terrorize the region and use their people's fuel for their dark magic. So... 
all three of them have their heads shaven, lines drawn on their heads, and he said, I heard crude, bolts, but I didn't catch crude, what. Crude medical bolts, like 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 they're just preparing to whoop, lob their heads off. They're they're you know make a precision cut, in orc terms, right? Precision. <laughs> oh, okay, so like medical surgery lines, kind of a thing. Medical surgery and bolts along those lines, yes. Okay, but no bolts have actually been screwed into their heads. Just into the. Uh, are you guys gonna examine and look at them? Have your medical guy look over it. Yeah. Because you just see, you just notice that the bolts are there. It's very obvious. You see, like metallic bolts, like uh, all around their head, like a crown, right along that line where they're where that drawing is. Mm-hmm. Sister, examine these men and ensure they haven't been compromised. Is there a negative modifier at all? Uh, nope. You get a plus ten on this one. Then I succeed. He, he succeeds. Okay. Uh, as you're examining them, uh, you know that this is a crude instrumentation uh, to basically remove the top portion of the skull from the bottom portion. Uh, it's only uh, the bolts are only uh, bone deep, so you can remove them, but you need to give them a little uh, medical aid, further uh, medical aid. Than- I'm half tempted to just kill them all and send their heads up to the Inquisition. Really? They've been tainted by Xenos. Up to you. Yep. Where's that fellowship roll? Let this be my morality compass your, like uh... it was for the tech. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up really fellowship and characteristics. Chaos. Yeah, you might want to do... Uh... Oh, I killed them all. <laughs> 96. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not going to get any more intel out of them? You're just going to kill them all? Yep. All right. We got what we needed. Suffer not the Xenos to live. I'm sorry, soldiers, but you have been tainted. And I uh, cut off all their heads. Okay. And any that attempts to run, I mow down with a bolter gun. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. Nah, you, no, no, yeah, no, you command me to uh, gun them down. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah, because you're the best shot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like we will be punished for this transgression. What transgression? These men were tainted by Xenos. Ah, uh, yes, brother, you're right. There were, no, there were no right. transgressions. Uh, yeah, that you see that uh, sniper to just hobble into the area. And he's looking, uh, looking around like, what? <laughs> Shock of awe. <laughs> it is imperative that we rescue any other Imperial soldiers before they turn into the instruments of these orcs' foul magics. Yes, yeah, agree, Any brother. who have already been touched by it should be exterminated on sight. Is that what you tell them? Yes, that's, that's why I tell everybody here. Sylvester, okay. uh, get the flamer, the heavy flamer. Well, <laughs> the snipers, the sniper guardsman nods in acknowledgement. Um, right now I don't know if we should have the head sent up for uh, examination, or if that's too great of a risk since it's connected to uh, heretical orc magic. Uh, I mean, by that logic... Sister, take a note of everything about this head, scan it, take every all the notes that you can, and we will dist- uh, dispose of them. As this is happening, I want to do uh, a check against the sniper to see how he's feeling after all this. After he sees the guardsman being slain like this. Okay. I have no idea what kind of skill that is or check. Uh, let's see. Let me look it up. Probably be... Oh, yeah, I think it's out of my head. Probably like fellowship or something. Scrutiny. Willpower. To resist the shock of watching us execute his fellow squad members. He will do willpower, but I want to check his emotions or check him to see if he's oh, that would be a sc- after this. That would be a scrutiny check then. Because scrutiny is yeah, used scrutiny. to uh, 
perceive the mental state of others. Yeah, then that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Any modifier? Uh, plus 20. He seems to be fine, but to me. <laughs> uh, your character thinks he's highly distressed by what just happened and transpired. Like, so emotionally disturbed. <laughs> that your character thinks he might be compromised. Uh-oh. God damn it, not the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he was so cool, too. So are you going to tell this to your brothers, or are you just going to act on it? I want to do a... F Wait a second. You can do a fate roll and re-roll that. I think I'm doing a fate roll. Let me try a fate roll. Let you do your thing. That's going to be an additional plus ten, then. That's scrutiny. Uh, yeah, that's scrutiny. So it plus should be 30. plus thirty total. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> Same thing. Your character. He, that's what he sees. He sees a very distraught, disturbed, possibly. Uh, possibly guilty. Himself. Guilty of something. You're not quite sure what, but he might be a heretic. <laughs> After what you're. Uh, leader just did. You're thinking the same thing. Perhaps this guy is also corrupted in some way. He was out here all by himself with all these orcs undetected. So is it possibly leading you to trap? Possibly. So what are you going to do, Dominego Castiar? Your character would have to act on this somehow. I, mean, yeah. tell the other I relate, I re relate just to, to Ancius to express my concerns and Tell him that I think this this sniper is a heretic. <laughs> oh, I not at our uh, Medicaid to continue doing her work, examining the skulls of these entities, so that way we have a record of it. And I walk over to this sniper. How are you feeling, sniper? That doesn't sound like what your guy just did. You just murdered three guardsmen. Try again. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not, not, how, uh, I don't know how to phrase that. How are you feeling to... Uh, I don't know. A heretic? No, hey. not a heretic. Uh, is your resolve still true, sniper? Okay, uh, scrutiny check then. And yeah, after what, what this guy just told you, give yourself a minus... <laughs> 20. Because yep. you're going to believe your comrade over this sniper. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fuck! Oh, I was so close. <laughs> what, you want to roll wanna, one more time? You want to fate roll that? Uh, I'm not going to waste my last fate on this, no. Uh, I'll, I'll okay. spend a fate. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Use I'll your spend fate? This no, 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 no. I'm saying I'm not using my last fate on this. I fate. will spend a fate point on this. Because our fates recharge every roll. session. Are every you saying session. that? Every session, yeah. You're saying you're already used... Yeah, you used two fate points already. Yep. Yeah, I used one already to help this guy try and dodge out of the way, and then uh, I used one on something. I don't remember what else I used my fate point on. Okay. Then. I, but I've used it twice. Then you okay. can use my fate point. No, I, I already <laughs> said I'll spend a fate point for that. Okay. So right, just a minus 10 now instead. Oh, I succeeded! <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see in his eyes a very, very, very battle-hardened and, and stoic character. In his response, someone satiates uh, his, uh, his commitment to the Imperium. And you don't see that he's quite compromised. You do take note of what your fellow uh, Marine told told you, so you keep keep an eye on him. Yes, like. Excellent sniper. The Emperor protects. Remember to keep faith in his will as we are doing his work. I turn uh, to Dominego and through the comms nerd helmets, uh, I go, uh, Your concerns have been noted, brother. We will keep an eye on this one, but I do not believe he's quite fallen to heresy just yet. But we will watch him. Until I'll watch him as well, brother. But for the moment, he may prove useful. 
I'll watch him as well, brother. But if he takes once, if he mistakes one step, we gotta have to end him. <laughs> as it should be, brother. Emperor protects. Emperor okay. protects. Okay. okay we uh, has our uh, sister Medicaid uh, examined the skulls and taken all the notes she can? I mean, she can't fail her, you know, her, uh, her medical check. Takes about 20 minutes to do all this. I reload during this time. Cool. Uh, then the moment they're done, uh, I put a bolt around in each of their heads. Okay. To, to ensure that those brains are not being used for wah heresy. <laughs> well, right. So, I mean, um, your medic, your sister medic informs you that uh, they, they weren't part of the magic it looks like. It looks like it was a medical procedure. They're popping brains out of people because you guys find, as you guys are searching through other carcasses with the brain scooped out, but your character would think, ah, oh, it's heresy. Blow them all away. Makes sense. Yep. Mm. I see. Well, okay. it's better to be safe. Yeah, you than can't to take let anything. Xenos magics prevail. So after I get the information, then I blow up other heads after saying that. Yep. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Moth, you still there? Yep. Yep. So, what was your character doing this time after you guys uh, do your medical checks? I was twiddling my thumbs. Twiddling your <laughs> thumbs. So, your guys like, uh, I've done my medical checks. I'm going to twiddle my thumbs now. I, uh, what else can I do, man? <sighs> you have a lot to do. You're the medical guy, right? Yeah. So what kind of checks you got? Because you could probably you made some other potions before in the last session, our last mission. Synthesize things, so you could do stuff, stuff like that. I mean, it was against poison. I can't do anything against acid. Don't we have containers have anyway. to store things like that? Yeah, we were it sent some containers. We're yeah, taking uh, the sure, with us. and we already grabbed samples of all that stuff. So, right. yep. yeah, maybe we grabbed samples from the tree, but definitely not a killer can's acid. No, no, you did. We you, uh, literally grabbed one of the acid nets. Nets, one of the nets, but mm. yep, but not the killer kind of acid. That's right. Yeah, I ain't going near that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys investigating around the area? This is like a... See that it's a very crude uh, base of operations for orcs. Right. Well, while, sister, these uh, acids are not poison, uh, they are still chemical-based, as most poisons. Is there a way we can make maybe a salve or something to rub upon our armor to prevent... that can counteract this acid in some way? I don't know. I'm not a tech marine. Chemistry is your field. <laughs> yes. If you can make an uh, antidote biology to poison. is my field, not chemistry. All right, fair enough. However, I... Uh, I can I can try to. Uh, uh, why don't you do a charm, Ancy, as to, to convince Moss' character to do try to make a salve or something? Oh. Since your character is thinking of this. I, I, I don't want yeah. to force another player to do an action. That's no, 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 you're not, not forcing. Well, forcing Try another to... player to do an action is fun. I suppose. But I'm saying you can do that if you want to. You can try to charm him to do it. Well, it doesn't oh, yeah, work. Feel... Moving on. <laughs> and Moth's character thinks, are you coming? Are you going to say, you're, I'm sorry, Moth, you think Ansys is coming on to you. <laughs> I didn't fail that badly, Jesus. <laughs> okay, look. All the space marines have been neutered, okay? They can't bump nasties. 
That's not how this works. I know, I, I know that, but not like that. But anyways, um, <laughs> don't make me you take more people's hands, Boko. You know I'll do it. <laughs> 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 My last character in a Warhammer game made a uh, fucking scarf. Nice. Of hands. <laughs> well, that the smells fuck? of heresy. <laughs> that yeah. was an Inquisitor. Inquisitor character. Um, all right. It's a fallen inquisitor right there. No, Probably. they were all heretic hands. Oh, okay. Those are trophies. Those are fine. Yes. <laughs> okay, very well. Then Tech Marine, can you devise a salve of some kind or a that we can spread across our armor to help lessen the effects of this acid? Allow me to uh to uh, s uh, see if I can do that. I'm going to do a tech use roll. Modifier? Uh, just see if you can synthesize something. Minus 60. Minus 60, okay. Ooh. Oh my you, god. Yeah. This, you <laughs> have an inkling that you can possibly make something. Brothers, I believe with the right mixture uh, we could add a coating to our armor that could nullify the effects of this corrosive trap. You would have to return to ship to do this. However, no. we don't have the materials with us right now to do that. Well, hopefully when we come across the scientists in that village that we were talking about, we might be able to find equipment to devise such a thing. Agreed. I we'll keep our eyes open. Well, yeah, your character would know you'd have to return to the war barge. Uh, to re-equip your plating to handle this acid. Doable. It'd be basically the same material that your container's made of. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I, I believe the same material, the container that is uh, housing this corrosive material in would be suitable to uh, add to our armor as a coating. But we can't okay. do that here. It has yeah, to be and done on the war barge. Take you three days to do it. To it would take three days. <laughs> it's a massive waste of time. Let us continue. We could probably um, talk to the Warbringer and let him know the information that these orcs are using acid based weapons. So they can probably start building up resistant armor for our uh, soldiers and the Warbringer. Right, but that would that would all be after this mission that that takes place because I don't. Well, no, no, he's saying that because this mission is going to take place over days anyway. You're saying we send up the information to uh, up there, so that way our uh, infantry squad that we might call down might have acid resistant armors to not you know be obliterated immediately upon contact. By yeah, not succumb weapons. to these traps. Right. Yeah. We will be. We will be on. We'll be on the planet, but. We can give time for the Warbringer to prepare. Well, we have to... They, do, we they have, have to, time to do it, but we don't. Yeah, we'll have to relay this information and then also send up the samples, which I believe we're still carrying with us. Yep. Okay, who's making the call? We're going to make um, the um, call? Sure, yeah. I'll, I'll call them. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Well, your Vox <laughs> coming in, so you'd be doing a little of your thing. Dear, yeah, dear yeah. When, when I'm doing the boop 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 boop, that, that's the sound the Voxcom makes when making a call to the ship. Is it also a dialogue <laughs> connection? Yep. <laughs> it takes a moment. Uh, travel between space and the ground can take a while. Sometimes up to twenty minutes just to get a proper connection. <laughs> And we can't use phone lines at the same time. That's right. <laughs> Our whole comms network is shut down while I'm doing this. I feel like half the people who are watching this on the on the YouTube VOD are not going to understand the reference. But basically, back in the day of dial-up internet, you couldn't use the internet and your phone at the same time. Your landline phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there were no cell phones back then either. I love it. An unknown voice. What is it, Asius? <laughs> uh, we are relaying data that we've acquired so far upon the planet that may aid us further. Um, the local orcs are using acid 
um, and their weapon types, and we've given a sample. Uh, and our current tech marine here believes that he can summarize a uh, solution to apply to our armors to prevent damage, but we cannot create it down here. We request uh, the coating be created and sent down once made. Nice. You hear mummering over the line. Also, be advised, uh, there is clear evidence of heretical orc magic, and they are using humans as a catalyst for this. We also did not tell them um, they should prepare the ar armor for our soldiers. <clears throat> Right. I mean, you can also, you know, apply that same, you know, acid resistance coating to our uh, our troops before they get sent down, you know. And uh, we have and a sample. To, uh, stuff we can spread in our arm. And tell them that uh, I have a sample that uh, we can send up of the corrosive stuff so they can reverse engineer that. All right. That is unfortunate. When you do plan to arrive back upon the war barge, I can send down a craft to retrieve the kill team. No, no, no. When do you plan? He's asking. Oh. When do you plan to arrive back upon the war barge? I can send down a craft to retrieve the kill team. As, as this was saying, I kind of want to do an awareness check to see if there's anything nearby. Oh, to okay, see if, they, if, they, if their landing zone is clear over here. Okay. Uh, I mean, and fire? Uh, plus 20. And Ansys, how do you respond to that? Um, well, first, how far away was... Uh, uh, did we know those villages were? Or these guys said something about... Uh, well, they just yeah, know that... Uh, uh, weird boy was in the area and that he's the one keeping everyone stealth but we don't know that guy's location so right are you telling this to the uh, the operator of the ship uh, well right now i'm just uh using what i know out loud so i'm not forgetting something before i you know make it a decision okay yeah um but how far away were uh, were those villages from us from here because it may just be quicker to go back up deliver the stuff and then take a ship down to those villages nearby uh, about based on the intel given to you by snipers, if you were to walk it, about two three hours. Oh, okay. Um, well, we can make it a decision uh, after we go to the village. Um, okay. So I'll relate to them. Um, not at this time. Um, may we may know. We may be requesting uh, traversal in a few hours. Uh, but as of this moment, we are not coming back to the ship. <clears throat> okay, where is your current location then? I think we were, what, southeast of uh, our initial touchdown? Yeah, we're going to uh, set up the coordinates, right? Yeah. I would like to also do a scrutiny on the voice. Okay. Before you send it? All right, cool. He's... All right. <laughs> well, it's just unknown voice. I just want to know if I could, like, identify who it was. Uh, you're not quite sure. It's just another random Imperial Guardsman for you. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, it's just people who just going to relate the proper information. Is he also coherent? Sounds like he's coherent. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong. He's just unknown yeah. voice there. So I would, I would actually... And hissing suddenly? Oh, well, I mean static. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I would like to go up to the kill a can and examine it and see if a dead Grucagorfist is inside. Because our primary objective is assassinating him. Maybe he was inside the kill a can. Okay. So that's uh, a scrutiny there roll. a big pool of acid around that thing right now. 
Uh, yeah, there is. So are you setting up I don't think uh, War Boss is going to fit inside a kill a can, but all right. Uh, I still want to check. It's Go the only it. way to be it sure, be brother. It's a super tiny War Boss. We don't know. Gretchen size. I'm going Maybe to... he's a Gretchen War Boss. Oh, that would be, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be fucking funny. I mean, this this uh, this particular clan of orcs is a uh, pretty strange so far. So it wouldn't be that surprising if a Gretchen was just in charge. After taking in all this information, I would like to make a logic check to see if I can figure this out. Go for it. <laughs> and Yamagi, right. you're being of coordinates. Yeah, yeah, I sent coordinates in. Yeah. Okay. I'm able to deduce that a uh, war boss would not fit inside a kill a can unless it was a Gretchen war boss, which would make absolutely no sense. <laughs> Thank you for mm. your coordinates. Please remain in the area. I don't like that. I don't oh, like no. that either. Can I scrutiny that again? Sure. I think we should all scrutiny on that. Or is Yomug's only one? Okay, well, Yomug passed. Well, he's the only one who has... So, based thing on the entire head. context of the situation, this guy is speaking kind of oddly, is what you're getting. Nothing too out of place, but it's kind of odd, the questions he's asking. Um, you're unsure of his intent. May I ask who this is? More mummering. Okay, and the then... trap. Well, I feel we're about to get oral struck, but you know. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, Captain Malachius. Oh, I'm thinking something else entirely. Is what you hear over the, your voice comms. Kill team, report in. Mm -hmm. Captain Lacius. Hmm. Where were we just speaking yes. to you? Then who do I have another communication link with at this moment? The tension is palpable. Quickly, Captain Michaelis. Have your tech freeze track my separate comm link. Find <laughs> out where it's heading to. Let me reveal the traitors on the ship. Wait, I thought I thought that our connections are encrypted. Right. Captain Malachius says, We've been out of comms range for some time as we were dealing with the orc fleet. My apologies for not getting to you sooner. We gotta run. Okay, oh, so shit. we needed to go. Everyone move! Sprint I, as fast as you can. <laughs> I do Captain a tech Blacklist, check for a fleet in the area. We may have been compromised. I do. I do a tech use roll to see if uh, to see what? if our comms have been compromised. Uh, and it are, looks like are it's you succeeded. asking? Are, are, are you are you uh, uh, asking? people on the war barge, to Captain Malchus, you're doing the whole diagnostic check? I'm well, I'm doing, the right now. I'm doing the diagnostics check on our own equipment to see if there's All interference. All functioning, no interference. Uh, okay. You deduce that that signal did come from the war barge, whatever. But uh, the only signal you received was Captain Malchus' signal. Well, then who is the unknown voice talking to us? Oh, we don't uh, know that. Yeah, yeah, where was you that? Guys, That's what he's asking. You guys don't hear that. You guys don't hear you. As far as you were aware, uh, Ansys was talking to himself. Oh. Cool. <laughs> well, Brother, are you that. done talking to yourself? We have a mission to get on with. Your assumptions would be that he was in a uh, secure comm link with somebody. Oh, okay. That they're talking directly to him. Because that is the thing you guys can do. They can talk directly to an individual. Yeah. Right. So you... So... 
it's just talking just to Yelmuk's character, essentially. Yeah, and it was Captain Malakius who was talking, right? The, the whole, whole time? team, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. But just now. Okay. When just just now, in, Captain oh, Malakius has said, the unknown voice is the one that was talking to me. Captain Malakius has talked and spoke on the, uh, the Kill Team channel. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he said Kill Team report in. Unless he was just talking to the squad leader right now, which would be uh, Ansius. No, no. Okay. Uh, he, oh. okay. He addressed all of you. All right. So, but with my scrutiny of that unknown voice, I found malicious intent in it, yes? That's what you said? You were unsure of his intent, uh, but oh. well, with well, his I new knowledge, it's probably malicious. Your character would deduce. Excellent. Um... Uh, Captain Lankley, so I just relayed uh, some data that I believe was in your underlings, but I now suspect is no longer the case. Uh, they were currently on a comm channel, possibly still on the comm channel. Uh, or it could be all in my head, but I'm not saying that part. Um, right. <laughs> um, you need to uh, do a quick investigation of any... Uh, comms link on the ship. Silence. Silence. <laughs> Is that being said to me or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have a feeling there's something psychic going uh. on. Is it anything? Is a psychic thing? Is th Here's a question. Do I know this is happening? Why would anyone know this? Because anybody said that this is uh, happening out loud. Uh, oh, then I'm not, I, would, I would not be aware if that's the case. Uh, Yelmog's relayed. Have you relayed that you're... I've relayed that I've just been in contact with someone else aboard the ship. Right. That's what I'm saying, and that the captain should now immediately check any comms relays things. And then I just got a thing saying silent push. Um, that part I didn't say. Um, right. So no one knows that someone just told me to be quiet. Um, no comms we can detect being sent other than our transmissions. Hmm. I mean, I've already put it together meta-wise, but I can't say anything otherwise. Really? What do you think it is? It's pretty character. obvious. Sure. Tell me. They stole human brains. The orcs are using the brains to talk to us. That was what the murmuring was. They were having the brains well, say stuff. I heard murmuring on this ship before we dropped. Are you sure? No, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we did that Just whole side quest thing where we were trying to figure out the tech priests who uh, needed to be investigated. And that was all more we the ship. And while we were doing our final inspection on the dropship and stuff, uh, I made a, a check and I heard murmuring that no one else heard that was similar to this kind of a s situation here. Well, that's right. So oh. I heard stuff on the ship before we even made Planetfall. So you might actually be going crazy. <laughs> Assuming they're related. <laughs> Assuming yeah. they are related, we're assuming they might a not lot. Be, yeah, I mean, it could be an orcish thing doing stuff, but these are very, uh, they're speaking pretty good gothic for orcs if they are. Uh, again, they're not orcs. The orcs are using the human, the stolen human brains to talk to you. That's how they are speaking normally. Uh, possibly. So they're, they're, it's, it's orc bullshit, I'm assuming. Or there's a gene stealer infestation on our ship. Or that. <laughs> but which is more likely? Probably the gene stealer infestation, considering uh, <laughs> we had issues with saboteurs before we even on our last mission. So, nah. right. Also, um, if the comm line from the ship didn't exist, then what you're hearing in your head was psychic mumbo jumbo. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but gene stealers can are uh, also psychic. Like a, a broodlord is psychic. So is our is our uh, medic going to inspect? Uh... I wouldn't know any of this is happening. That's all meta. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> so. <laughs> Tell me your location. I mean, I already did that, though. Oh, I know. No. You transmitted coordinates to the ship that was not in receiving range. Hmm. Um. But we, we, we already sent it. Well, we sent... We, did. we sent coordinates... Could I do a willpower check to determine if uh, this is happening in my mind or not? Yeah, go for it. Any modifier? Uh, plus 40. It is not. It is coming from your headset. Hmm. This could be Orc intercepting our communication and dealing with well, first of all, sending signals, but our, our, our communication should be encrypted, right? Well, first of all, yep. Antius, are you telling us that any of this is going on? Uh, well, I mean, so I was about to say to you, um, Aaron, I'm receiving a separate communique. Please track this immediately. I'm on it, brother. Where do you um, think the communication is it in your headset? I'm receiving it from my headset. Um, Captain Malchius, I am receiving a separate communique that uh, I believe does not belong to our, our uh, people. And they are very intense on wanting to know where we are. Uh, and I would like to kind of like motion for us to start kind of moving. Um, right. You know, well, work as we walk, brother. Um, right. <laughs> I would like to do a tech use roll to... Uh track the comms going in and out of uh, Brother Antius's headset. Uh, any modifier on that? I also I also assist uh, with that. <laughs> any modifier on that tech use roll? <clears throat> okay, C Captain Malakius Hello. is typing. Yeah, give me a second. All right, here we go. We are monitoring all spectrums of comms. No such comms are being transmitted other than ours. We've jammed planetary comms some while back as we establish orbit to hinder the orcs' movement as they've been stealing Imperial tech. As far as I'm aware, all comms are secure. Are you sure you're receiving a transmission? Perhaps we can evaluate your armor. I can send down transport to get you out of there to inspect. And that's sent to all of us? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you all, yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys, the whole kill team hears it. Okay. I point to the Let, rock still glued to his helmet. No, I took that off. When did you take it off? When did you take that off? It was whenever I uh, I took it off to be like, hey, see, to try and test it to those captive orcs that we had, but he clearly saw me. Oh, that's so right. I took that okay. off and threw it and like broke one of their legs with it. So right. I don't have it on my helmet. The tech yeah. marine has it on his. Yeah, the tech marine would have it still on. Yeah. You gonna take it off? Um. Yeah. After. Uh, 
I, I actually want to do a logic check to see if I can figure out that maybe this rock on my helmet isn't a good idea. Well, we still haven't done attack use your, to your see where that communication is coming from. Right, your, your, character's, your character's common sense dictates that, yes, that rock is stupid, especially after your friend took it off his head. But go ahead, um, tech use. All right, all right. Remember, I am assisting you with tech use. Are, are, are you examining his helmet, trying to track it? I'm examining my own helmet right now as well. Okay, so your helmet's fine. I I pull the mm. I pull the rock off of my head and uh, stamp it into the dust. Okay. Excellent. I'm glad you figured out your helmet is correct, but I asked you about my helmet. Ah uh, yes. Let me check your helmet as well. All right. Seems to be functioning just fine. And you're trying to track the location of that. Uh, the only comms you're able to discern that it's coming is from uh, the ship and just from uh, your calls for uh, Captain Malaki is there. Brother, uh, after, after checking your helmet, uh, everything appears to be in working order and the only, the only channel we're getting is attack channel from Malachius. Wait, does that mean he doesn't have channel to us either? The direct channels? Well, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the, the unknown the only voice. only outgoing channel <laughs> that's not part of our network. Right. Yeah. Right. I thought mm. we would be looking at the incoming channels for him, not outgoing. Well, yeah. That's what I meant. The the incoming yeah, channels that's, are... Yeah, I, same thing. You you yeah. discern it's only Captain Malachi as you get coming and going. That's it. Hmm. Concerning. Well... At this moment, Captain, we do not need that transport. But we are going to a location shortly where we may need one within a few hours. We will relay such information to you when we need it. Did you Understood. Say, say that again? I said we will relay such information to you once we need that transport. We might need to move communication to someone else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, once this is done, I'm going to get Yeah, it. like, yeah. NECS should not uh, be talking anymore. The village is... Where's the, where's the closest village to us? This was, like, to this... Uh, I want. I keep thinking that's to our, like, southeast, these villages. Do you want to say that? Because no, I'm, 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 I'm asking the GM what? where oh, the villages to, were. Yeah, so yeah to the east. east. Yeah, the, 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 the sniper... He, yeah, it's to the east, about three hours away. Uh, he describes you that there's a cliff. Okay, it's come on a cliff. That's why the orcs haven't really messed with it. And it's not of real high value. So orcs don't, there's someone to fight there. Seems to be a bunch of villagers. Uh, okay. I say to the west. And then I take off my helmet and put a bolt around into it from the inside. <laughs> Are you destroying the helmet? Yes. Brothers, I believe you from now on. I point to, uh, well, I guess our tech marines, and he's the one who can probably determine that is, that is, uh, am I still hearing this? Yep. Even after you take off your helmet? Yeah. Okay. It, so it sounds as though it's still like a... I keep a step back out. away from all my brothers with a tear in my eye. I nod and go, brothers, I have been compromised. And I take the ball turn and shoot myself in the head. Are you really going to do that? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yes. I am pious as oh, fuck. Dang. I will not be compromised by this shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. You got a fate point or... Okay. Yeah, I will you... suffer not the heretic to live, and I will suffer not <laughs> any corruption <laughs> upon my being, and I will perish a pure space marine faithful to the god emperor. Uh, I... Uh... I Neil Tyron draw my plasma pistol on our uh, on Ansius and I'm shaking. Brother, it's not too late. You can get help. You know better than I. Once you're tainted, you're always tainted, and I will right. suffer not this existence with the shame. But brother, faith is our shield. The Emperor protects. 
What? What? <laughs> He's oh. talking to you now? <laughs> yep. Wait. Pull the trigger. Absolutely, and I pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I do a willpower <laughs> check to see if I can stop myself from pulling the trigger. What's the modifier on that? No, he's he's telling you to pull the trigger. Yeah, I know. The unknown voice is telling me to pull the trigger. So I'm going to do a willpower check to see if I can resist pulling the trigger. What's oh, what's the roll on the willpower check? Uh, I mean, you're going to get a plus 60. Okay. I'm able to resist pulling the trigger. There's a voice okay. in my head, brothers. It told uh, me to pull the trigger, but I'm not going to do, do it. it. Yeah, let's do a willpower check on you there, uh, <laughs> you bug. Uh, okay. That, I mean, you can kill your character if you want to. That's fine. I, I, I've uh, said multiple times I pulled that trigger on that bolter. Okay, with, I guess with you're cracking dead. rounds, so yeah. Oh, your character no. is dead. Yulmug's okay, head then. explodes as the bolter round impacts its head. Oh, yeah. And it was on full auto. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good. There ain't nothing left of that skull. Right. And then, of course, you said, pull the trigger. Okay. I pulled it. My head disappears in the mist oh, of you, explosions. And you then you scream to your companions, there's a voice in my head. Well, your character didn't hear pull the trigger. Only Neil Tyron did, but... Uh, he, but well, I, I told, I told everyone, the trigger. I told said, everyone the that trigger. there was a voice in my head. Oh, okay. But yeah. I did say pull the trigger, but... See, I was saying pull the trigger, like, as Question a... Mark. Yeah, question mark, but uh, Yomug's character thought I was instructing him to do it. Yeah, I absolutely, yeah. I immediately kill myself. You were also pointing a gun at him when he said that. <laughs> but then you did also just announce to uh, everyone that you're hearing voices. Oh, good. You're also hearing voices. I mean, I was going to do that anyway, but sure. Uh, can I roll I, I, Zeno's knowledge on this? <clears throat> or does it sound like a person, or what's going on? Sounds like what a does regular the voice guy. Sound like? Sounds like a regular dude, like on the ship you heard a thousand times. And you're in your uh, headset as well. After watching my uh, battle brother blow his brains out, I start losing my composure. No, no, this isn't happening! Why did he you kill himself? Daddy's yeah, you, you. Oh, I'll do a. Yeah, do willpower. Willpower. Okay. One. Yeah, minus minus twenty. I, I, after after um, ANCS took. Uh, you're you're uh, both. After ANCS uh, pulled the trigger, I I said I'm I'm taking command of this mission. I'm the leader now. I barely managed okay. to pull myself together. Right. I'm shaken and stirred right now. <laughs> Everyone, if you hear a voice, please express it to all of us, no matter what the voice says. Okay, from now on, I'll tell you what the GC. voice says. Although, I have to do that anyway. Dominigos is the godsman. He's a heretic. Kill him! A voice of my mind just said Who is that. that too? Oh, no, it's, you hear it in your Vox it's headset. It's an unknown voice. Yeah, Who, you hear it. Who heard it, it though? Dem uh, uh, Dominigos' character. Yeah. Wait, Dominigos heard that Dominigos is the heretic? That doesn't make no, any I sense. I think there should have been a comma in that uh, sentence there. Domingo, Domingo ah. he's a heretic. Okay. Kill him. And your guys already predis predisposed to already kill this guy because you thought he was a heretic to begin with. And well, now you're your friend, voice. yeah, and your friend just blew his head off, thinking he was compromised by uh, runic powers. <laughs> so your character would kill the sniper. Would yes, but 
but we're hearing voices. We, uh, Tess already heard the voices, and Yelmug also heard the voices. So I'm stepping back and thinking, what is going on? I should not have the emotions. And we well, express. Let's, let's, yeah, let's put it in context here. So now this t- started happening, and so this guy came on scene, right? So your character is already predisposed to think he's a heretic. So, more than likely, it's coming from him. So, you're going to have to do either a logic check or you could do, um, uh, let's see, another one, scrutiny, right? Our uh, our Black Shield uh, Marine Karnoff is going to be doing a logic check on all this. Right, so... Modifier? Yeah, so you can do, uh, minus 30. Oh boy. science that's another one, right? Sci science. Oh, that's none of us are a psyker. I don't think we could use that. <laughs> so Karnoff, seeing seeing his glorious leader killed, uh, is going to take his rage on the nearest thing, which is going to be that uh, guy that came. He thinks it's the a sniper. heretic. The, the sniper. sniper is super dead. All right. And uh, I'm I'm just gonna roll for damage because I can. Even though you're saying he's dead. There we go. Oh, he's super dead. Oh, oh yeah, definitely <laughs> dead. Karnov disembowels the shit him. out of this guy. Yeah, cuts, him, cuts him in half. And, uh, let's see. And Domingos, you hear... So Sniper's dead. I did so much to try and keep him alive. I know. I tried <laughs> to keep him alive too. I like the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. For uh, for every Imperial Guardsman that falls, there will be ten more to take its place. Yeah, but how many of those ten are going to be as epic as that guy was? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> I don't think you've been in the Astartes long enough to know that. Or maybe you have. I'm dead. Who are you talking to? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to do a logic check on all of this because this is very fishy. Good job, brother. Emperor will be pleased. This is Officer Dragon. Can you give me your current location? Since you've effectively the leader now, we got information on our computers that Ancius is dead. Yeah, it's a fucking gene stealer. <laughs> do a logic check on this. First, the voice tells me to kill him. Now, the, now he's dead. Now he's saying good job. Doing a logic check. This is something wrong. Okay. <laughs> Any modifier? Logic check. Uh, plus twenty. Uh, your character can deduce there's no way that anyone on the ship could see that this guy, this guardsman in the middle of the jungle could be killed by you guys that quickly. You find it very, very uh, highly unlikely. Either you're being watched, they're seeing through your, uh, that your, um, your helmet's displayed somehow, or like there's something else going on. Not quite right. Same thing. But you, Neil C. Ryan, being a tech marine, uh, Unless your cybernetic uh, implants were, were compromised, there's no way for anyone to, from the ship to view what you guys just did. They wouldn't have any visibility on that. Can I use my mind impulse unit to see if uh, anything is interfering with our tech nearby, like wireless Go interference? All right. It. I'm going to roll a tech use on that. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh... Okay. Uh, I can't really assist on that, huh? No, because it, it's, it's oh, like an internal point. organ. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can we use dead our, people's Our dead fate guy point? will use yes. the fade point. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. I'm actually going to use my own fade point. That'll bring no, me use down. mine. No, 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 I, no. Use yours? Mine okay. is expendable because I can't save myself with it anymore. Got it. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> you killed yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tech use. Plus 10 this time. All right. What was that uh, tech use again? 
Something uh, built. It's for my mind impulse unit. It's basically an organ that I can wirelessly interface with nearby technology. And I'm trying. I'm just trying to make heads or tails of what's going on, just like the rest of us. Uh. As far as you know, there is no tech anything in the area interfering with your comms. Okay. Uh, as you're doing this... Fuel team, report in. I was informed by the ship's bridge crew that Ansius is no more. Ansius is no more. We've been hearing voices in our heads. I request immediate... I request immediate you medic find me, for I'm all and I'm everywhere. Captain Malakius, our brother, evac. we're hearing voices. Our, our we, cannot, brother, we cannot continue our mission. Our right. brother Antius took his own life in the name of the Emperor because he thought he was compromised. I believe our mission is compromised. I'm saying all this to Captain Malakius right now. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much relaying that. We need emergency medical evac. Hello. 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 Uh, Boy, so Ansius is right dead. <laughs> what is happening? Gilbert uh, shot sending himself. Sending evac now into transmission. Uh -oh. Yeah, so uh, I committed suicide because uh, my mind was being uh, uh, influenced by an uh, unknown entity. Uh, so being the pious individual that I was, uh, I would not stand for corruption and uh, shame that would be pride upon my character. So uh, I had him shoot himself in the head. Yeah, so I, I became the leader now, and uh, right now we are we're getting off the planet. Something's going on. We're, we're uh, even hearing voices. Are you guys for anything else, from Captain Malcius? Hmm. Not seeing for anything else from Captain Malcius. Well, he just ended trans transmission, so. Yeah, it's true. Off the awareness. connection immediately. It's no more. Your hope is lost. Go ahead, do a aware, uh, awareness check, y'all. We've been walking. We have if not it's been visual and audio, you get a plus 20. Oh, okay, is it visual or audio? Visual plus, plus 30. It's going to be very obvious. All right. Oh, they might succeed it then. Okay, I so. I found it as a dead man. Right, so. <laughs> Above you guys, you just see a bright blue light above you guys. It's a bright blue light in the distance, high above you guys. And we had to identify what it is? Yeah. That, that's last catch fire, isn't it? From orbit? Yeah. Uh, possibly, but go ahead. Uh... Alrighty. Hmm. What is that? War Imperial lore, lore, I guess. Lore, lore, yeah, do Imperial lore. All right, Dan, you can form. take over your character now. Okay, thanks. Just in time for him to get obliterated by orbital yeah, fire. Yeah, right. No. Uh, <laughs> as you're looking up, you're kind of analyzing through the, tr through the trees, you see that that's like a ship exploding high in orbit. Ah. Like the war... Like You're possibly thinking possibly the war barge just exploded just now. What nuclear? Well, I oh, hope man. that wasn't the war barge. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You just know a ship in high orbit above you guys just exploded. Can I do? Uh, can I do a scrutiny check to see if I can figure out what kind of explosion that was and if it could be the war barge? Well, it could have been the dropship, the evac. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we be certain that it's real? Yeah, it's it's also a good true. point. <laughs> I'm I'm I mean, gonna do I a scrutiny check for I all that. I guess you could radio Malchus and see what happened. Yeah, try to do that. I guess we'll try to get back in touch with the ship. Karnoff. <laughs> Dominego is compromised. He's a heretic. Uh oh. 
I hear that. Can I uh, roll anything to? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just hear it. it. Just whatever you want to do. You just I also instructed it. everyone to express their voices okay. to see if they hear a voice, express it to everyone. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I'm hearing voices now. Sure. It's saying that y you would. Okay. So you're trying I, to. I, I brother, what is, that, brother, what is the that? voice telling you? It is communicating to me that Dominego may be compromised. What? Compromised? It's a ton of calm static. Try again. Is that the voice you're hearing? That you're no. saying I'm a heretic? That is the yeah. That is a voice I'm hearing inside my head. It's saying you're a her like you're compromised. Yes. It's a voice. <laughs> a voice. <laughs> So can anyone tell me what's been happening so far? What's, what's the situation? So we took out that orcish camp. We blew up uh, the Killican that was there. Um, and there were three uh, captured guardsmen. So we found them. Uh, we untied them. But as soon as I real, uh, realized that uh, they had like markings and stuff, and they reported that uh, they were taking the brains of other humans and using them to amplify a orcish weird boy's magic, uh, I immediately executed all three of them I uh, because I didn't want them to also be contributing to this. Um, and then, uh, you know, we the examined this goal, realized that they weren't actually being used at that time, just prepped for it. But I blew up those heads anyway. We then communicated to uh, the ship saying, hey, here's the situation. Uh, and then that's when I realized I was actually talking to somebody else and not Captain Malachius. Um, he also did a willpower check, so we don't think there's some psychic, or he doesn't think there's psychic issues. Yeah, because I, because we were all hearing it from our comms in our helmets, but then I took off my helmet, shot it, heard more shit in my head, and that's when I killed myself because I realized I was compromised. Damn. And then all this other right. stuff was happening, and that's when you basically showed up. Is essentially right when I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, I pop my helmet off to see if I can see anything when the helmet's off. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying to sort out all the different comms that we're hearing, see if I can figure out how many channels there are, what kind of activity they're doing. I'm doing tech use for all of this. Hey, watch your helmets. They've been compromised. Mine just went dark. The voice is uh, taunting. The voice is uh, taunting, saying, uh, do you see me? And shit like that. So, Vestra, do you if see me? If, if your uh, helmet goes dark, just take it off. It's not affecting our actual vision. And Sylvester doesn't see anything even though her helmet is no, no, you do. He oh, does, I'm ignoring the voice otherwise no I took my helmet off and I can see again so I would like to look around and you don't see check. Then. I'll just like look around put right? back your helmets I'm sorry put back your helmet <laughs> help help <laughs> Karnoff, do you see? I uh, hand my helmet over to um, Neil, saying it uh, something affected my helmet. Find out what it was. I will venture out a bit from the group. Just a little bit away from the group. Do not separate too far. Watch for traps. Also, you we're going to lose me. squad cohesion because our squad leader got killed. And, uh, oh, right. Well, can I spend anything to try to get uh, uh, shit. cohesion? Just cohesion may have just plummeted because of that oh, shit. So cohesion? who knows what number it's at now. It was at seven. Nice. You trigger a trap, but it and, misses. Yep. All right, I'm going to I'm going to roll I'm going to roll tech use on all of our helmets to see if there's that's anything the wrong with them and that's where this voice is coming from or not. Again? I would like to I would like to use my fuel and I would like to fly up. 
I would like to use my jetpack and just fly up. Uh, about 40 meters above the ground, I'd say. Like, above the trees. Hornoff, I'm not above you. Uh, uh, what? 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 You're you're calm too. Clear as day. You just easily look back over at my corpse and see my head not there and helmet destroyed. But Carnith, I'm not above you. Also, there's uh, a hole in your gut. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm checking everyone's helmets to see if this voice is coming from the helmets. It is. Okay. Yeah, you're, you, yeah, you're able to discern that uh, it is uh, whatever you're hearing as it's coming through, you're able to discern. Yeah, it's coming from the actual machinery. Brothers, this voice is coming from our helmets. Helmets uh, off, everyone. Yeah, uh, except... Um our leader took his helmet off, shot it, and still heard voices and shot himself. So I don't think that's quite right, is it? Yeah, this feels... Or is it I, Neil? Okay, how about, how about, Neil, check for incoming signals to the helmet that have uh, removed functions. My helmet went dark as it said, do you see me? So obviously it did something to the helmet. Okay. And if so, it's not technical, as I'm, then it's as physical, I'm above and it's around us. Mm -hmm. Or metaphysical. Yeah, you're, the you're looking as up. I'm floating above the trees, uh, do I see anything? Uh, as you're looking up in the sky, you see what looks like a massive debris field up way above an orbit. Okay, uh, uh, everywhere else on the ground? No, you just see a massive debris field uh, in orbit, wherever this structure was, or ship, or whatever is massive. Besides that, can I see anything on the ground or on, on the trees? Karnoff, come down. I will make an awareness check, I guess. I've I still have my helmet on. I've removed my helmet at this point. I don't see anything, I guess. For I have more right. to show you. Right? Uh, wait, Anx wait, isn't Anxious dead? So how is he still speaking? Good question. Hey, and you hear, uh, Neil. I need to get away from this place. <clears throat> I can hover for a minute. I'm gonna do. Um, what I'm gonna do is get as far as possible from this location. Oh, are there any? piles of rocks around do us do you see do you Those for i'm all around rocks. you so i'm gonna i'm gonna travel for a, a minute in this direction i'm in to the i guess to the west just as far as possible from this group from our group from your yes from our group okay so you're gonna be heading what to the lz that you guys came from uh I guess I can do that, yes, I can do that, but it's just basically I'm trying to get away from this place as much as possible. Are you guys all doing the same? Uh, since I'm yeah. floating, like, I'm up, up above the trees, I can have uh, a minute of that just floating around, just above, and... Uh... Okay, so, yeah, you, you don't see anything else of, of importance? Uh, I'm not trying to see anything i'm trying to see whether that whatever that is is limited to that location or it's like linked to us so i want to test if me getting away from that location weakens the voice brothers i'm still hearing these voices even after i've taken my helmet off and somehow i'm hearing ansius even though he's dead Do we have any rocks in our containers? This is why you don't yeah. play to the chaos gods, Antius. Come on. Right. What have you done? <laughs> True. Oh. Turns out Antius was Astro Claws all along. I, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> vroom, vroom. I can st I, I'm holding it, but I can still I feel that it's turning on. Okay. Yep. 
Okay. And turned on sure. just now. Sure. Fine. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna hold it. Sure. All right. Brothers, we have to get out of here. We have no transportation. We could head back to the evac zone, at the very least. I will get away. Uh, get away from everyone as much as possible. Again. Just I guess in the. I'll go outside and just like I'll be near. Ego Castilla, they're all heretics. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Let me show you. Whatever voice this is my head is will be the heretic. What if we throw? <laughs> I do not all care what you say. I do rocks. not care what you will do. I will not listen to you. No. Oh. Gun rose up. Interesting. <laughs> you say that, but why are you charging your gun? Why are you about I'm to not. fire it? I'm not. What if we throw our rocks away? Huh? You go for it. All right. Uh, I guess I. I, uh, I I communicate that to whoever has the rocks and tell them dis uh, like dispatch it, like throw them away. I I dump whatever spare excess rocks I had on me and uh, take my plasma pistol out and shoot them all. All the rocks. Pew, pew, pew. Yes, throw that orc black and magic trash away, for they are weak. And you hear that, Karnoff. Do I just hear it in my head? Or from certain Yeah, direction? it's in your head. Yeah, it's not in your head. It's it's where your Voxcom would be in your right ear. Voxcom. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, your helmet's off or on? It's my on. helmet is off. On. You st well, you don't hear anything. Okay. My Everyone take off. off their Everyone take off their helmets, turn them off. We will not longer hear the voices if we do that. Oh, okay. I, I still keep my helmet on. I command you guys to do it. I mean, you can disobey your orders. Mm. It seems like yes, whatever this is the helmets, dislikes technology. <laughs> it dis dislikes the machine spirits as well, in particular, and can manipulate them in some way or another. Uh, I pull out my plasma pistol and blast my helmet into pieces. Okay, that's going a little too far. <laughs> that's we a might need those well, later. Ancius already did that <laughs> you either see? way. Yeah, Ancius did shot himself down. a second later. So fun. Without I, a psyker or a librarian, we cannot decipher what this is. I, uh, I take away Neil's gun so he can't shoot himself. In due uh, time. You're gonna try to take away my gun. I will keep it aimed. I will make sure you keep it aimed at the ground and not at your head. Right. Because I'll shot this some of them shot this, Did this just spawn? We hear what? My gun clatters oh, to the ground. We see that barrel spawn. Or what, what do yeah. we see? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I'm just saying it, but I'm not moving. I'm not going to investigate that barrel. Okay. I'm looking for the the evac to come pick us up. Already, it's already landed just now. All right. And I uh, see uh, the whole guardsman team step out. What was that explosion in orbit? Are you asking them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. By the guardsmen over here. <laughs> what explosion? <laughs> we didn't see anything. Which one of you guardsmen saw that explosion up in high orbit? Or more like, did you see? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez.
I'm kind of hoping that the guardsman says there's there was no explosion. Dang uh, it! War barge exploded and then fired upon, and then fired upon, That's just important. before it detonated against the Falchion destroyer. It's badly damaged. We're all that remains from the board bars. Oh no. So are Where's both the nearest ships? relay station? Where's the nearest wait, relay wait, station? Wait, hold on, hold on. Are both ships down? Our boat ship so like the our war barge, barge blew up. up. The destroyer got shot just before the war barge blew up, so the destroyer is damaged but still there. Or at least that's what that first thing, you know, part says. Yeah, it is. That's, that's correct. Right before, yeah, right yeah. before it uh, died, it exploded, yeah. and as it was dying, it fired a barrage of weaponry at the destroyer. But the, the destroyer Marine. itself is just Go. badly damaged, but not yet destroyed. Tech Marine, go back to that terminal in the bunker and determine whether there is any relay station on this planet that's still available. Good idea, right. brother. To the destroyer, says the guardsman. All, All right. right, then. We have a target. Hmm? Whatever's been speaking to us is on that destroyer, because Malchus shot it. We attempted to make boarding actions. What? All right, I, tried I do, to I do to board the destroyer, but all right, real quick, ah. I do. We I do to make boarding actions as well. I do a tech use in the terminal in the bunker to see if I can figure out what ships are still up in orbit and if we have a comms link to any of them. And I succeeded my role, unless there's a negative modifier on it. But we were unsuccessful as the defense weapons on the destroyer fired upon us, even in its damaged state. Yes. Was the... F Actually, wait, no, no. And what are we doing, Neil Tyron? So, I'm in the bunker right now. I'm doing tech use on the comms terminal there. And I'm trying to see what ships, if any, are in orbit, and if we have a comm link to any of them. As soon as, soon as they said... Um, that they were fired upon against the destroyer. I tried to let um, Neo Tyran know that the destroyer is not an enemy. Att attempting to communicate them will bring um, destruction to us. Quick question Which ship was Malchus on? The Warbringer. The Warbringer. All right. Just clarifying. So. I'm still a bit confused. Did the war barge the get destroyed? It sounded like somebody sabotaged the war barge, and before it was completely destroyed, it shot the destroyer. Brother, it's this destroyer is jamming the destroyer. our. It's jamming our comms. Well, yeah, they, the planet were comms you, were already jammed beforehand. I'm going to ask the mercenary guardsman when you saw the destroyer, did it look. Imperial, or was it different? It's Imperial. It was it's the Imperial. first. It's the Felshian. It's been with us forever. Yeah, it's the first ship you guys dropped out of. I see. Mhm. Mm the war barge was like the the home base for the Death Watch. You guys were the no, Inquisitors no. out there. For the war barge. Remember what he just said there. The first one we dropped out of was the Falchion destroyer, which was the one where all our gear was sabotaged on. Mhm. Mm oh. Says the dead man. Right. Well, we would know that. Yep. These messages to the Vox links are getting annoying. <laughs> it's a shame that experimental weapons facility was destroyed on this planet. Boom. We probably Boom. could have the, used that. The terminal explodes in a shower of sparks in front of me, and uh, some of them hit my face, but I'm a space marine, so uh, I'm okay. Is against so you us. just stare stoically into the explosion, unblinking and unwavering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The sparks bounce sure off of my face. You sure Guys, you don't want to start it? I just, I just had a revelation. I just have damage. a, I just have a revelation. Star when we were talking with the captain, he said that communication between the war barge and us was the only thing, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't say he cannot see the communication between us and the destroyer, meaning the communication 
can happen on the destroyer to us during this entire time. Not to yeah, but c- keep in mind there the uh, you're hearing the voices in your head regardless of whether you have the helmet or not because our tech marine there has his helmet removed. Yep, and is being told not to. Also, Ansys before he died heard it, shot his helmet, and that's why he killed himself. Yep. So was this not ninety two? Uh, drag it to. Oh, that's the nil because he was the one uh, using the uh, com relay. Yeah. Yeah, that I tried using the com relay. It was being jammed, and then it exploded in a shower of sparks in my face. And your helmet was off, right? Yeah, so it hit me in the face, but I'm also a space marine, so a destroyed terminal and some sparks is not going to phase me at all. Even without my helmet. Maybe you should board that destroyer. <laughs> Brothers, don't listen to the voice! It's trying Only to corrupt us. Only you hear it. The voice is telling me to board the destroyer. I say we don't do it. I mean, my idea was actually to board the destroyer and <laughs> find the thing and kill it. You should, do, uh, you should join uh, us, sister. Join. What are we going to do? Stay on Orc Planet forever? That seems like a bad idea. Does the uh, this escape vehicle have any cloaking uh, devices just, on it? Or it's just a standard technology? Thunderhawk. Yeah. Start the and and the uh, destroyer tried to fire upon the firehawk, meaning if we try Tech to Marine. board it, we'll be dead. Tech Marine, are you able to modify your thunderhawk to have any concealment capabilities? Hmm, I can Considering try. Considering they can turn our helmets on and off and explode consoles, I don't think any technological solution here is going to work. We need to I go agree against with the our, unknown voice, with Sister Sylvestra. That is still the only chance we can have if we are to barge the destroyer, even though yeah. it's a suicide mission, uh, because they are they outgun us heavily. Oh, so yeah. our only way to barge it would be fast and stealthy. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the ship and see if it has any stealth capabilities. And if so, it try to. It doesn't. Oh. It, you can only modify it. Like I'm just asking if you are able to modify it to have. I would like to roll a okay. tech use to see if I'm able to modify the. Uh, Thunderhawk. To have cloaking capability. Uh, I thought it was Firehawk. It's a Thunderhawk. Oh, it's a Thunderhawk. Geez. The character would know without that war barge, it'd be nearly impossible. Unless you went to a base or something like that on, on the planet. We can... It's not going to be possible, brothers. We can scout or <clears throat> uh, salvage whatever remains from that uh, forbidden zone where that got shot from the orbit. We can try to salvage I something. I don't it think anything cannon. remains. Yeah, it was the last cannon shot from orbit. It's probably glass. Is there... Is there another base nearby on the maps? Well, terminal is there. We can't see. Just villages. There has to be something here worth defending. There was also that glass weapons facility. Yeah, but it's probably just glass at this point. I mean, unless there was something really deep underground. Maybe. That's why I'm asking. And also, like our only other solution is to. Somehow, some way, uh, figure out. Well. Oh. So, did the well, guardsman actually I wish to say report that? to you the destroyer in orbit slipped into warp and appears to have left. Yeah, I don't know how I know this at all, but okay, it's an object in space, but it's clearly just gone to yeah. warp. <laughs> did his mouth move? Where's the helmet? <laughs> did we see the guardsmen talk, or did we? My mouth hear? is absolutely moving. See, see the flesh lips on my fleshy face. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely a guardsman, not an alien in any way. My Thunderhawk just picked it up. 
their, tech marine their thing electronics in haven't blown up like the one in there. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna corroborate. I'm gonna see if I can corroborate what this mercenary guardsman is saying through a tech use roller and see if he's full of shit. Okay. I guess I'm okay, gonna succeeded. look up and try and confirm with my eyes. Okay. Even I see you the ship in orbit. Yeah, you go over to the Thunderhawk. It's a little more advanced than than, than your standard ones because it's meant for you guys. Yeah. Uh, he sh he shows you kind of like the radar blip, and that was there. It was gone. And the only thing you can do is that it slipped into the warp and it's gone. Brothers, I believe this guardsman is telling the truth. It must have slipped into the warp. Can go. Can, Emperor, can, can save I go into us. stealth mode? Can, can the I destroyer? No. Oh, stealth mode. Oh, destroyer. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure those ships are a little too big for that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mile I'm, long I'm just... 40k ships. Also, the, that technology doesn't really so much exist in the 40k universe, unless it's the Eldar. They might have. Yeah, it, like the that. Dark Eldar would have that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we're also the Death that, Watch, and yeah, we've got Inquisitor stuff. And there might be some Imperial ships that have stealth, but those are like. Inquisitor unique ships only, and yeah, the war barge right. was uh, a space think, barge, not an Inquisitor ship. Yeah. Well, we are on Rome now. We don't have any more support, seemingly. So correct. We're we're on our own. We need to be in survival mode. One thing we can do is complete our mission to destabilize the orcs. Yep. Because it, once we destabilize the orcs, we can actually have higher chances. Uh, surviving Alternatively. There. Maybe somebody got off the ship before it exploded, or as it was exploding, and there could be survivors. Well, these are one of the survivors. Yeah, Surviv sure. Yeah, highly but, unlikely. Uh, maybe there were escape pods. Maybe Marines launched in drop pods. Tech Marine, yeah. check on our radar if we detected any escape pods. All so right. I gathered all the planetary comms available to us. There is still Imperial outposts on this road. We can use to possibly get a distress signal out. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent idea. Detect. Oh, my thank you, Smile. I live to serve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Can you just detect whether the radar picked up any drop pods out of Thunderhawk radar? Absolutely. I'll see to it right now, Sire. I'll just our tech marine, not you. <laughs> All right. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm so check. sorry, my lord. I'm, I'm going to so check. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna check the uh, I'm gonna check the radar of nearby things and see if I can pick up any um, uh, survivors or like drop pods, anything coming off of the war barge, barge that might have survivors. Is the okay. is the sniper guy with us? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh no, he's that's dead. right. You murdered him. Yeah, I murdered him. <laughs> yeah, your character <laughs> killed him. He he. Just in a fit of rage, you've seen me him. die. Yep. I guess you heard a voice in your head going, "The guardsman the, was a yeah, fucking heretic." The sniper guardsman was the heretic doing this. So you went insane for a moment and just cut him down to pieces. Yep. The willpower I check see. was a failure. So it was like a negative ten degrees of success. Yeah, it was <laughs> pretty bad. It was Sire, like what are your orders for our men at your disposal? I have a few suggestions. One, please don't murder for me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what are your, I, I reply with, what are your suggestions? Bleh. <laughs> Shut up. That's I put them all in the medical suggestion. coma so they can be made into servers later. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. Okay. No. Oh, speaking of which... There's no way that was him, right? He was on the war barge. We sent him up to the war barge, or to the destroyer. Well, we sent Who? him. Oh, the Serpenter? No, they went up to the war barge. Hmm. This Thunder bar Hawk was it from the Thunder uh, war barge? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one was from the war barge. Oh, it tried shit. to do a boarding action uh, against the destroyer, couldn't get past its defenses, so it just kept coming down this way. So like, is our there, there's, a the there's a slight possibility. There's a slight possibility that the intruder is, is among them. But Did we grab Antius's weapons? Nope. For my suggestion, we go back Sires, and grab those. I could take we my team of those. guardsmen to go to the outpost or go back up to orbit and see if any survivors remain in orbit. They may have made it out before it was destroyed. Just as 
the hold on i'm gonna be uh, obstinate just like every other person on that ship just as sister <laughs> apothecary said brothers right. so um, i would like to take a moment or however long it's going to be to go back he can't, yeah, he can't hear guys internal comm so he's just making suggestions we have our helmets, helmets off, off. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You guys I have, have it. Off. I, ha I, think, I like, have everyone but Karnoff has their helmets off. Karnoff okay. has yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm relaying all that information, I guess. All right. We don't hear voices anymore when the destroyer warped out. Yeah, we haven't you heard have... voices since. Yep. So You did also hear destroyer. him saying that he's going away. Yeah. All right. I want to take some time to go back and recover Antius's body before, and we should do that. Before gear. you do that, before you do that, you roll the tech use roll for the radar to detect any drop pods yeah, that have, true. may have survived. Did we see any? We did, we did do that. Did, did we find any survivors, Mr. GM? Uh, okay. Well, if there's not, it's going to be pretty difficult for me to bring in a new character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can just fall out of the sky. <laughs> I am a space marine. I am immortal. Don't space marines or death marines um have implants as well? Yeah. They could be clear. Uh, drop pods are hard to see at this range. I would have to go into orbit to gather the intel needed to see if drop pods escaped. I'm yes, going to ignore it's... the fact that you're an amazing tech marine who could possibly boost the sensors to an outrageous degree. Um, <laughs> yeah, I already I'm just did that. Assume naturally that you can't do that, and uh, we'd have to go into space to see if there were any drop pods that made it to the surface of the planet. Dear guardsmen, I'm sorry to say this, but you are wildly incorrect. As I often am, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm often told I'm the most incompetent within my crew. <laughs> Yes, can you improve the radar to see if there is any bl more blimps? Blessed is the mind too small for doubt. I hear that often, and I take great pride in it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Garsman, you can uh, you can stay quiet now. Absolutely, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoke, sir. Oh God, I did it again, sir. I'm sorry. Sir. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna put my helmet back on, see if it's working again. We are still surrounded and, by orcs. Anywho, even if we detect the drop pods in the orbit or something, it's still quite risky to send the war the Thunderhawk up there because we don't really know if the war bar uh, the destroyer falchion class is gone or not, or is there anything else out there that we don't detect? Well, Boko, I already Man, I already scanned like for survivors. Like I'm using all the technology that we have, plus whatever bonuses I have as a tech marine to oh. just search for any survivors that might have made it off of the war barge before it went down. Any drop pods? So or what do we I find? Craft. Well, that terminal's destroyed. Uh, you have no access to outside comms because the links are destroyed on that thing, if you recall. Right. The, the Thunderhawk, you're able to affirm what he just said. He'd need to get in orbit to do a scan of the the wreckage, basically. Can you boost the radar signals? Uh, go ahead and do another tech use. Okay, is there a modifier? Uh, plus 10. Plus 10? Okay. Uh, yeah, you boost if you go into space like the initial guardsman told you to. Why he made the suggestion. Now, there's no way to do it yourself. You don't have the necessary equipment. If you had the war barge, you could probably do something with it brothers we could do something with this if we had the war barge but it's kind of a scrap heap right now yeah okay. i say we i say we uh go with the guardsmen and go up into space and see if we can search for survivors counter idea how long will it take to get to orbit and search for survivors and come back down that's a good point i didn't consider that that's probably going to be 15 minutes. I will say yeah. we should probably in, in the meantime, split up. In the meantime, we can send them up to scan for survivors. In the meantime, we can go back and grab uh, Antius's weapons. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's do that. 
or at least recover his body. Well, let's well. wait until what to see what the guardman's guardsman says. Well, that's that's what I'm thinking is send the Literally send the troops. Guardsmen, super wanting to butt into your conversation and uh, waiting for the proper moment. <clears throat> uh, sir, uh, we can board the remains of the war barge. Uh, there could still be survivors within the wreckage. The damage we saw was massive, but so is the ship. Guardsman, I will allow you to leave this planet, but no, no, no. in at the sight of any danger, you should come back. Because do, we do need... not board the war barge. Do not board yeah, the, do the not war barge. Do not board the war barge. Let's check to see if there's any survivors. Run a scan and come back. Right. right, so we're going to go up, check for survivors. If we find any, ignore them and come back down. Uh, it may also happen. We are not it... to go onto the board barge. Understood. We also may experience we... technical difficulties with your craft. Be prepared for that. Actually, uh, we should probably have the tech marine give it a once over just to make sure nothing's fucked up. Yeah, uh, I, I don't do think that. that's going to help. Thank you, guardsman. We... Well spoken. Do well, we really want to be <laughs> I don't know why I if... said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the other guardsman. So there's multiple guardsmen. So I take it your character is a different guardsman. My guardsman is the retarded guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway. I used a different probably... voice for a different guardsman. What do you want from me? <laughs> right. Perfect. If any sabotage was done, and we know this is a saboteur because they've saboteured a lot of our stuff at this point, we should probably check to make sure nothing's still broken since we haven't heard voices and the destroyer's gone. Yeah, I, I'm Chances checking. They were on a destroyer I'm checking the destroyer. I'm checking the Thunderhawk and its systems. I'm basically. Um, I'm basically doing a pre-flight check to make sure everything is uh, safe before we send it back we, we up. We need to answer this one be a, question. Be a little more thorough than just a pre-flight. Well, you know what I mean. We, Our drop before before anything, before anything, I need uh -oh. we need to understand this question. Do we want the want them to pick up any survivors they find while they're scanning? All right, everyone, do an awareness. No, we check. just want them to look no. and then come back. Is it audio and visual? Why is that 47? Because <laughs> he he's did dead. 50 Monday plus 500. Mm, yeah. He's dead. He's, he, he, he can see all. <laughs> yeah. He's in observer's <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> Spectator mode, that's the one. Okay, so you guys hear giant mechanical in the distance stomping. We should Another killer can? Uh, you're able to discern with those rolls, it's at least three to four. Possibly more. Oh, no. That this one, aircraft should get off now. Should yeah, get we, off. we can't Just go back. Just to know, the Thunderhawks are equipped with a big-ass cannon on top of them, plus numerous weapons. Yeah, we could true. just use it to obliterate the killer cans. Let's do that. <laughs> it has more than enough firepower to be able to do that. If that's the case, let's uh, do a minimum crew on the war uh, Thunderhawk and have the rest of the troops be with us. They will be useless against the Killigans. Uh, yeah, Counterpoint, uh, if they if they help us destroy the Killigans, that may take away from the time it will... like like It will take out the valuable time we have to scan for the survivors, which might or not make it. Like if we're not going to pick up any survivors, why are why are we scanning in the first place? Well, we're we scanning my, because we will see if there's anything. How but about my thought process on that was we send them up to scan, and while they're doing that, we run over, grab the body, and come back. But yes. we can't well, grab the body. We, go up later. we can't grab okay. the body anymore because it's like four kilo cans yeah. over there. So that plan's out the window. So for now, brothers, no, I wait, suggest. Wait, 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 no, he keep carrying the missiles. And yeah, missile he was launcher. carrying all the missiles and a missile launcher. That's we, yeah. If we are able to pick up the missile launcher and the missiles themselves, then we have a chance against the killer cans. Yeah, I mean, but to to be fair, Dan's character is the best. stabbed through the killer can last time and killed it outright. Yeah, it was no, I did. Not that he hard. Did yeah. Final... yeah, you did. You got the last one. He to did the fair, final twenty damage that was necessary, but the crack yeah. missile did thirty. Of the fifty, I, I have a breaching auger that can do fifty damage in a single hit. Ah, uh, well, shit. If, yeah, if, no, yeah. If it hits, <laughs> if it hits. Uh, also, if it how hits, much armor it. do they have? Like fifteen. Fifteen in the rear, which is yes. their least. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Breaching augers do have uh, double penetration and two times strength for determining penetration. So in uh, what about the front? Breaching, I should say, for yeah, moving armor. No. We did. We didn't hit it in the front. We hit it in the back. Probably twice, twenty. If the rear is fifteen, if that's front, really the 20, case. But it could be more too. Yeah, we don't know. And they're purely melee. Okay, guys, guys. Not necessarily. I say. Well, the we ones we, well, the one we fought. No, it had an acid sprayer. Yes, uh, I forgot about the acid sprayers. All right, guys. And it was armor penetrating. Guys, what is it? I test? say. I say we abort mission because this mission has gone horribly wrong and we need to we get the fuck off of this planet and uh, yeah, I guess once we're up in space we can look for survivors on that destroyed war barge and maybe see if we can salvage something, well, get out of do, there. Do keep in mind what the, uh, the guardsman said. The war barge is massive. It is one, massive. One explosion wouldn't take that thing out. Yeah. Unless it was what like if, what if, the if it was a warp core that exploded. Wah! Brothers, we've spent too much time deliberating. There are orcs guardsmen coming. Get, get up the ground. Guardsmen, get up the Guard, ground. Guardsmen, get into, that, get into that ship and man its right. weapons. And I, I think it's a good stopping point, too, for the next uh, session, <laughs> for sure. Holy shit. What'd you guys think? That was crazy. Uh, well, I didn't expect to kill myself, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I didn't that expect to kill yourself either. Jesus. <laughs> I, you just went for that one. Hey, I was thinking hesitation. to myself, like, if I was a librarian, I'd be trained very heavily to resist this exact kind of a thing. But I'm not. <laughs> hey, that mm, was yet. that was some awesome RP. Kill yourself no, or not, like that, that was <laughs> You should kill yourself now. <laughs> But, uh, That's why I double check. I want all the same. It's like, we're going to double check. That's what you want. All right, then. So be it. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I know. I know. Uh, and, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, this is what my character would do. He is super zealous enough that, nope, I'm fucking compromised. Blah. Also, uh, Dan, I did take over for you, and uh, hopefully I did your character justice. You'll be able to catch it later on the VOD. All right. So, so that'll okay, be thanks. cool. But you did get the last hit on that killer can. Uh, basically, see. we shot a hole through it with the uh, crack missile, and then you uh, you I did a can opener attack. It. Yeah. Yeah, you do not want to hear. Here's the rules for that uh, acid spray. You don't want to be hit by it. Corrosive, yeah, unsuccessful like really hit. Target armor is reduced by 1d5 points. Roll once for all locations hit. For each hit that deals damage. This effect is cumulative. But armor cannot be reduced below zero. Spray. The weapon affects every target within a 30-degree cone with a maximum range of 20 meters. Targets may attempt to dodge the attack, but do not gain the benefit of cover. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah, it so it would, it would have been pretty nasty. Uh, it did. It used against that poor sniper dude, and he jumped out of the tree. Uh, may that I... was a terrible choice. May I know what's the toughness? value of killer cans is top there's no top it's a vehicle vehicle okay got it yeah so it just has armor you, you just has armor you can't reduce its toughness it just has a raw dr value against whatever you're doing is this is this part of well, what just happened here was this part of the primary quest or is this side quest <laughs> i can't tell this, 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 this is, is the, the loop mission. we've been throwing this, this is, is the mission then yeah this is our mission and our mission got completely scuffed so now it is the primary mode. mission, and the side quest just enhanced it. I mean, this was the saboteur from last time. That exactly. Probably, yeah. So the saboteur, saboteur was the side mission thing. No, sort uh, of maybe. overarching main story, and the mission we're currently on is separate. The the GM has spoken. He said maybe that means we're metagaming too hard right now. All right, you'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll I find had out. A, I had some for orcs. sure. I was trying to figure out when to when to spring this on you guys. Yeah, that's a good opportunity to spring it on you guys. Well, it's a good spring because I, <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, you a threw us. Our leader shot himself. You threw us a yes. hell of a curveball. Yes, that uh, Dan. This can bring in a new character because Ancy has just died. So reinforce, and you guys lost seven on your first mission. They're going to be reinforcing you guys. So yes, they'll tie in. 
Oh god, right. I kind of want to make a new character. I really am not liking this apothecary much. <laughs> well, maybe Man, you can you commit to. suicide well, on the next session as well. Just, just kill yourself. <laughs> nah, I wish the character kill themselves. That just would be know. ridiculous. I'm gonna be making a librarian. Especially in the middle of a mission. Not, not All because right. we fought a psychic thing, but that's because that's the character I, I, I like playing of the librarian oh. type. So yeah. I didn't this last time because we had like two librarians, I think, in the thing, but then neither of those uh, players yeah. came back up again. Oh, yeah. I also, I want to point out. So, I'm going to be making a librarian this time. I want to point out. Yeah, I, I want to point out that uh, Moth's character, uh, Sylvester, did get Antius' gene seed. Yes. Okay, so, good. he can come yeah. back. That's not how that well, works. Well, no. that, oh, that's that's cannot come back, no. Antius is dead. Oh. Dreadnoughts, Jesus you still need the brain. You... What about dreadnoughts? Dreadnoughts are, basically, dreadnoughts are basically just advanced servitors, where the servitor host is still technically... Uh, hasn't been mind-wiped, like a regular servitor. Right. So he still has his memories, but he's still a dead body. Shoved and, into uh, a... Antius kind of blew up his brain, so there's none of that left to use. Yeah. So, dude, what'd yeah. you think? <laughs> he's... <laughs> It threw you for loop in it. I was not expecting this. <laughs> I just rolled with it. I thought that was great. Devastator. Fuck it. Jeans is an organ which makes uh, like allows people to become astartes, and it's very uh, expensive, basically. So that's why we it's, tried to. It's the get thing it that back. can't be replicated anymore that makes space marines. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Think of it as a cancer cell from a Primark. Uh, and that cancer cell sends mutations into the body, which allows the human to become a space marine. God, I actually, if of. if I remember correctly, the gene seed is what gives <laughs> us the uh, the chapter specific abilities that we have. Yes, yes, yeah. it does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To answer your question, Bogle, I am trying to figure what's what really happened. Based on what we what happened, we deduced that that we've been betrayed and the Sebator got us, but. I don't know what really happened. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're going to have to figure it out. Figure it out, yeah. figure it out more next more time on Death Watch War of the Imperium. Can... It's not a mystery if the DM tells us what it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, but if Ryan, you know about 3 really lore, you can figure it out pretty quickly. Yeah, Anything yeah. Uh, yeah, that'd be ruining the story for you guys. Exactly. But uh, I'm sure Yelma can kind of deduce what's happening. I mean, I've already Basically, said as much. Don't spoil it. This session, so. I have my suspicions as well, but we'll see. I mean, it could be anything. It could not be that, but that's like the most Correct. likely situation. What, what do you think Occam's it is? Razor. Oh, Gene uh, Stiller. Uh, Gene Stiller. Right cool. Okay. I mean, he, he, a... he went hiss for the hiss emperor. It's like, oh, the four armed emperor? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, he said hiss emperor? Oh. He said the hiss emperor. Um. But it could be anything. It could be a Zinchian cult or something, or some other uh, cult with a psyker. You know, clearly not corn. Um, or yeah. or Slanesh. Because none of that Slap, was Slanesh. Doubt that. Doubt that. Um, so it could either be Zinch or Nurgle. I doubt Nurgle. The only two culprits I can think of is Zinch or a Gene Stiller cult. Can I, can I also just be on device? What about that, that yeah, uh, chaos guy that manipulates... No, he's not a chaos god. He's one of the uh, primarchs that manipulates reality. The uh, magic what? primarch. Oh, oh you the mean uh, the Thousand Suns primarch? Yeah. Who is a uh, Zinch? Yeah, Magnus. Is the Thousand Suns or Zinch again? <laughs> maybe it's a chaos marine thing, maybe or maybe it's, it's that spy marines, those crazy weirdos. Oh, the Alpha Legion. The Alpha Legion. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, 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 half of them are loyalists. <laughs> really? What, which half? <laughs> you don't know, that's the thing. Yeah. And the way their lore goes, there's so much they do that's actually good for the Empire, um, as well as against it. But that, we also don't know which Primarch survived, whether it's the traitor Primarch or the loyalist Primarch, because they are all the Primarch. Exactly. Yes. Oh, so we don't know all of the questions. Yes. Yep. We don't know who leads it. We don't know what they do or why they do it. But half the time, the stuff they do actually benefits the empire. The other half they do hurts the empire. So it's who knows. Who knows? It's 50, Maybe 50, there was really. one of each 
on the barge and yep. the uh, the destroyer. Ah, yeah. We don't know. That's the whole point. Yep. We'll have to we'll have to figure it out through more sessions. Yep. It could be a crazed muskrat that happens to speak with a human voice and a <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> no. And that's what it's, it's going to be now, because I suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually, I already know what it is, but I'm going to ruin the, ruin the mission for you. Yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. not a crazy yeah. muskrat. Don't, don't ruin really it for us. us. That, that, no, it's not no, gonna. No, it's not gonna. We're good. The orcs that are on this planet are not technologically advanced, and whatever that happened to us was related to technology. No, so the, true, true. It well, a lot of it was ish, ish, ish. Well, ish. He, here's the thing: we thought it was related technology, and then after we discarded our helmets, we figured out that it was just a voice in our head. Cope, no, that true. console blew up in your face. Oh, it could be in it your did. head. Yeah. By describing that's technology. It as... Yeah. Well, no, like yes, it uh, it spoke to us, yes, but everything it did that affected us was via technology. Like yeah. Also, keep in mind, Cobler, our... when we pulled our helmets off, it was still talking to us. Yeah, yep. I know. That's what I was saying. Your ear, like like yes. your box was there. Yeah. Yes, I'm aware You're... of that as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm just saying it was partially technological. Well, whatever no, it was, it was, it was heresy. It was targeting technology. I'm saying that it was targeting technology. Yeah, I'm not saying the thing that was attacking us was technological. That'd be insane. Me neither. Me neither. Are we fighting Necrons now? Crap. Why would they be so weird? <laughs> they are pro technology. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well that's well, enough well, speculating. Think... <laughs> All right, go ahead, dude. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. No, 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 I'm no, 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 no. It's fine. Toes. Yeah. Yeah, your character's effective leader there, dude. Congratulations Thank on the field promotion. <laughs> well, I'm a tech marine, so it's like. It's natural that I have to I have to become a leader. No, you're, you're not a tech marine, you're a tech marine. Tactical. Tactical. There you okay. go. I was going to say. And technically, anyone could take up the position of leader. And then, like anyone yes. could be the squad leader. It didn't have to be a, yes. a tech I actually marine. get a bonus to command tests, so... I Hopefully you got the good fellowship this time. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, my fellowship was a 54. Right. My, mine's a 38. <laughs> Minus oh, 46. Oh, so librarian, right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be making a librarian now, yeah. Okay, so I'll introduce you the same time as we introduced Dan's friend character. So, uh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, so we're getting a new person, too? Wait, is yeah. that person playing a librarian? No. That's not what? What? Good. That's all okay. right? Good. Do you mind if I reroll and make a Devastator then, guys? We do yeah, need go a, ahead, bring a character. You can die in I the next sure. mission. Honest, yeah. Honestly, I haven't been doing much as a healer. Well, you have, actually. No, you actually did. Can, that that one time you blew yourself patients. up with the grenade, yeah. No, 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 no. Like the, the toxins, the healing up the guardsmen. Uh, yes, the grenade as well. Yeah, but, I mean, you, but, you were pretty integral in, the, in that first mission. I, mean, I thought you, like two of us at least, would have just died and succumbed to that poison pretty quick. Also, yeah, exactly. combat, you're sending people to. But, Ma, if you don't like being... Go ahead. It's, it's not that I don't like being an apothecary. It's that... I, I guess it is I don't like being the apothecary. <laughs> it's <laughs> right. Mainly, it's perfectly fine. Well, you don't have but to mainly, be an apothecary if you don't want to. When, when you've played three sessions and haven't gotten a chance to hit anything, it yeah. kind of sucks. Right. Except so, a Ma, giant tree. Yeah, Moth, here's my suggestion. We keep your apothecary in the team as an NPC... And you can make your new, your new character. So the apothecary would go in the background as someone you can control. Okay. I, it's well, I imagine it's probably going to be uh, maybe a couple of other people than just, you know, my librarian, that assault marine, and the new devastator. There's probably should maybe be a few others. That way we have backups for when people die. Yeah. Go for it. Make yeah, that's a good backup idea. Character. Yeah, we started with how many people? 14? I guess I could have uh, this character be re-rolled to the back. Up character and have a new one. Yeah, essentially your team is effectively four Space Marines now. You guys went from twelve to four. You lost eight people, so they're going to reinforce you the full twelve stack. So I guess you guys can all roll auxiliary characters. Awesome. If we really well, want those to. auxiliary characters be also on the battlefield or just as a backup, just existing. Uh, eighteen B. 
Yeah, they'll be they'll be uh, backup characters. Okay. Uh, yeah. But as the mission as the mission proceeds, you could probably have them uh, come in combat as well. So it's open to you guys what you guys want to do with them. Okay. And, it'll, and it'd be up to me as the GM to make their decisions as a team because they'd be a separate team. I mean, I say for balance that anyone that we don't immediately bring into the squad, they can go off and do their own separate little small mission thing. Right. You know, that way it keeps the balance of the game of... Yeah. A small squad. Yeah, and we can yeah. always yeah. like mix and match with characters too, and for future missions that might be cool. Actually, yeah, yeah true, true. Yeah, that brings variety. I yep. like that. So you'd have, you'd have sixteen space marines all together in totalitary. I think that's plenty. Oh, that's plus some character sheets. <laughs> all I know no. is if my tech marine dies, he wants they... to be a dreadnought. That that would also mean they all, all of them had to survive the Warbringer's uh, destruction. Not really. Or war barge. Th to be fair, no. the war barge isn't Wait. destroyed. It was. You guys were the only ones on the. Punched in it, probably. You... Okay, so your your guys would know. You guys are the only kill team on that war barge. Yep. So, just so you know. So any but... additional force you get would come from outside this sector. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that there's only one war barge in all of the Imperium. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you there's guys definitely have to be... one for every chapter. Yeah. Multiple, even. Yeah, you guys are. You guys are. Barges are exceedingly rare, and there's not that many of them, but there's enough for plot to always have at least one. Yes. Right. Exactly. But you guys, you guys will be getting reinforcements. I made mean, sure you guys are aware. Of that. That's the only way to introduce you guys. There's the new characters. Uh, what XP should we bring our characters at? Just basic. Uh, what basic new, brand new creations, or are we gonna have a little XP boost to match with party? Uh. Let's see. Let's go ahead and match with what we're doing. So let's additional. You guys get 600 experience points for this session. Okay. So, 600. Yep. Yeah. So whatever total XP you got now, you can make you can craft new characters with. Okay. Cool. So we have about 2100. I got 1700. I have 1810. But I, I did also spend. Uh, XP to gain stuff, and I did gain bonus XP for RP. And so, Moth and has Yelba. been... Hey, hold up. Yeah. Moth has been keeping track of our rolling total of XP, but uh, it should be about 2,100, maybe uh, 2,200. Yeah. Yeah, right. Or 1,000, I mean. Alright, you guys don't... It's not a flat across the board. Everyone's 21,000. So we'll get... Then about... Yeah. Yeah, 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 generally, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you an additional uh, 200 for that uh, role-playing session. Yeah, they're killing yourself there. That was pretty nice. good. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> and Karnoth, <laughs> Karnoth, I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna give you uh, 50 for taking down the Killicon. Last hit. Sweet. Yeah, so bonus 50. Yeah, the bonus Sweet. XP where you weren't even here. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Tess. Don't worry. I did your character justice. I hope. And dude, you splatted all the invisible guys, right? I think most of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you fifty for that. Fifty. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, fifty to Tesseract for talking into that thing on the terminal. All right. And then, uh, let's see, Moth. What did your character do this session? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did like the last seed. three. I, I literally haven't done much in the last. You harvest the gene seed. Yeah, exactly. Oh, That's boy. what I'm saying. Yeah, so like 10 XP? Uh, 50. 25? 50. No, 50 XP. Let's go oh, 50. Ooh. Make it fair. 50. That puts me at uh, 20k total then. Right. So craft your new character with that in mind. So uh, technically I have total XP spent 20,000 and then total XP to spend 1750. Does that yeah. sound about right? Yeah, it sounds about right. Okay. We should be hovering around... 19 to 21,000, depending on how right. much bonus you guys got that Boko gave you individually. Yeah, and when the and mission... that seems about right for me. Yep, and when this mission's wrapped up, uh, you guys can spend your XP. I'm trying to figure out how we can return well, this mission. Oh, we'll it. figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're very resourceful uh, Marines. Uh, well, it, tur together. it turns out this is now a survival game and we have to live on Orc Planet for the rest of our lives. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally my thought. It's just like, how are we going to get out of here? 
Well, we start by banging to rocks to together, and uh, I was like, we, "Oh no!" Then we make uh, we fashion mind, uh, stone the... tools. And then we make a house remember, out of wood. Remember, don't mix two black rocks and a red rock; it could explode it could if explode, you yes. order it wrong on the crafting table. <laughs> Not doing this mission will count towards, uh, I think, losing our renown. This mission? This orc yeah, like, mission? This orc mission. If we don't do it, if we don't succeed no, the in mission doing is, a mission. This mission has changed. So yep. the, the oh, orc yeah. mission is scrubbed, so it's a different mission. Oh, and I'll make those. Well, until uh, they to get to be orders fair, we don't have those orders. Give, I'll, no, give yeah. I'll give you the requirements. I'll give you the requirements. Don't worry. The next session, okay. you'll, you'll understand the mission. All right, sweet. Well, the the mission has pretty much been canceled, if you if you will. Uh, it's not they canceled. Are, are. It's just uh, we scuffed the mission somehow, and uh, no, you didn't scuff it. You guys did nothing wrong, so it's all part. I said like, everything that played out was supposed to play out. Okay. Yes. Now, okay Me killing off. myself was supposed to happen. Yeah, that, <laughs> was, that, that, was, now, that was that was unscripted. That was you doing your thing, but everything else. What? Planned. But you that told was me bonus that I had to kill points. myself this session, and I found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh. <laughs> so when the time is right. <laughs> this is it. It's this time. My time is now. <laughs> My time is now. My people need me. <laughs> Avenge me, brothers. Become the Avengers. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. I don't we don't have a green marine, though. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be a salamander. Uh, salamander librarian. librarian? Yeah. By fire, it, be purged. Every chapter's got a librarian. We don't have green marines, but we have an orc. I have an army. <laughs> we have an orc. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're okay, heretics. So then you lose? I was making a We Have a Hulk reference. Yeah. 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 It's like the only Avengers movie I watched. I wonder I whether I would have... Yo, Mug got Thanos Gretchen snapped. Or... Oh, could I play a Gretchen? I mean, I just beat her... <laughs> 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 but I'm like a weird boy Gretchen. <laughs> weird boy Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm just a human brain shoved into a Gretchen body, but I, that gives me psychic power somehow because works. Works, yeah. yeah. You're painted like I Wait. don't know, like every color. Like so, uh, you're like green. so, so you're yeah. saying you should become the guy we were just hunting and then join us? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Gruk. Maybe Strange Gruk. Me, hey. Maybe you Gruk and Gorfis. To destroy the orcs, not become them. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe our <laughs> war boss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe our warbass uh, Grukagorfist uh, is realizing how dire the situation is, and he might want to team up with us to survive. I don't know how well that'll work out for him, because our primary Badly. objective is to kill him. I have been thinking of that, uh, and yes, that would be not very feasible for both parties, because they're not under threat so far, and. Like, yeah, orc, they would not help us. My orc subordinates have figured out I am not an orc, but a Gretchen, and I've been just <laughs> fooling them the whole time. <laughs> but they've yeah. now realized what I am, and I'm in danger. I need to seek assistance. I'm in Maybe danger. these space marines can aid me. You can become our pet familiar or something, yeah. <laughs> I am uh. harmless. Kapop, don't mind me exploding that guy's head. I am harmless. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was that was some top notch RP though, where you blew your own brains out, man. Yeah. I you saw I had a safety mission that you're not to kill yourself, but I was like, all right, as long as we, this is what we want. Don't try to resist people killing themselves. Is. I've been there. <laughs> Wait, what? The? That, that, what? <laughs> My my psychic my psychic sniper character from that had us hand a scarf killed herself essentially, and an entire ship, and a quarter of the galaxy. Okay. It was nice. it. You had to be there. Yeah. Welcome Rain's uh, first RP session. He killed himself. Yeah, I did. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's it's because... a rite of passage in RPG to kill off your own character. And then yeah, make a new that, 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 and that then have them bring feels, 
that feels that a little bit weird. As a Nurgle puppet. Uh, it, it's not, but it tends to happen more than you think. Yeah. I almost did that in my first session by placing those grenades. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. <laughs> no, See, that would make more sense, tend to but kill not... Them. Player actions tend to kill themselves far more than the GM kills players. Yeah, yeah. That I understand, but not on purpose. I was not thinking about it that you get the uh, killing yourself will be on purpose. Well, Yomug didn't hear voices on purpose. Jeez. That's right. And well, if I was playing a librarian, the voice is made of I it, wouldn't guys. have killed myself. <laughs> because librarians are trained specifically for that. Right. Yep. Okay. I mean, you'd think. With Zeno's training, we would have had a little bit of a, you know, don't kill yourself as soon as you hear voices in your head kind of thing. <laughs> I guess you I missed mean, that day. All, all, all space marines have uh, tempering, you know, to be, to temper themselves against psychic uh, uh, effects. But the fact that we weren't getting any checks whatsoever to resist anything psychic um, is pretty crazy. So... Mm -hmm. And, and the fact that I made an outrageous willpower check to determine that it was, in fact, coming from my comms. And I'm like, yes, this is coming from my comms. And when my got off, rid of my comms, up, he's still oh, I'm hearing. still hearing it. I don't know what's happening. I am compromised. My willpower is not strong enough to stop this. I'm taking my own life. I had <laughs> a thought, but I never got around to actually being able to express it. What? Maybe it was, I don't know, some kind of bug in our ear talking to us. Ooh. I, mean, I like never got to do the a medical jungle test. Bug? We were on a Tyranid planet, and several of us t were poisoned with Tyranids. Oh, Ooh, yeah. It could have yeah. A, an earwig in our ear. Yeah. Yeah. Who but knows? That would have been psychic that earwig. Never poisoned. Well, all Tyranids are psychically <clears throat> linked, so that would make sense. Yeah, Moff, if you ever want to say something to us like that again, uh, just things, shout us things down. Things kept happening. It was oh, and then the I, ship exploded, and oh, we're getting attacked by killer cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot happened, and I lost I, the train of thought. I think it, I th I really think this happened a bit too fast. I mean, it happened over the course that's, of an that's entire how panic session. Works. No, it didn't happen over the course of an entire session. It happened over the course of the last two hours. Yep. Yeah, the entire session. Your point. No, we've been running since eight. No, not but no, it is eight thirty. About about it's nine my time. Yeah, it's two my time. I'm central, so we've been running yep. since ten West thirty. Coast, yeah. So yep. like three and a half hours, about almost. We started at eight forty eight. Well, we I'm gathered looking, four I'm looking hours at, ago. I'm but looking we started at started three and a half hours ago. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking at OBS. It's uh, three hours seventeen minutes. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, hour, but half, I still two hours for. But panic. from the war break form. War Barger exploding to not even, I feel like not even five minute talking. Then we have the Jankulas or Killikins coming well, in. We, yeah, we, we, we were took out the Killikins. We were for a good 20 minutes. It debating. took you some time to get back to this. No, it took you. Okay, so your characters take time to traverse over the land to get back to that outpost. So in that time, an attack force was assembled to attack you guys. Because you just attacked one of their bases, killed a can. And this and happened. Right, scattered yeah, their we, forces. We did le let uh, a bunch of orcs escape. Mm -hmm. so right. Yeah, we broke their, their power. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, right. That, a bunch of them were hidden that we couldn't see. So plenty escaped to be able to relay data to more orcs. Hey, they're this way. Let's go yeah, blow they, them up. They saw yeah, us. They saw us take out their kill a can, and then they failed their willpower check, and they were like, oh shit, we better get out of here. And then they ran back. And got more killer cans to deal with y'all. Yeah. Because that's well, you know, how logic works. They killed one killer can, but not. what if we bring more killer cans? <laughs> <laughs> they can't yeah. kill all the killer cans. <laughs> you know, I just, I just realized this feels like a Bad Batch moment. From Star Wars Bad Batch, oh, from the starting bit. scene. It's starting to, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, for the the latest season? No, the first one. When oh, yeah, 66 that, that's happened. True. Yeah, it did start. That's with really it. feel like it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar with uh, what you guys are talking about, but I'll just. I haven't seen the. Have you I seen Star seen Wars? Last half. 
I have seen Star Wars, yes. Have you seen the episode, or the movie, where Order 66 was given? Yep. Okay, Bad Batch is about a bunch of clones, and their story starts the moment Order 66 is given. But they're defective oh, yeah, clones, right. so oh. they don't get the order. Or they okay. don't adhere to it. If you, I, I can send you a link to to the uh, to watch it for free if you want it. Uh, if you want, you can, but I'm not. I mean, I'll, I'll I good. might watch it. Yeah. Most of Filoni's uh, Star Wars stuff is great. By the way, dude, have you ever been shooting at a killer can with your character, or were you going to um, shoot other targets? I tried, but. It was dead before I could manage, manage to make a shot. That kill can died in two rounds. It yeah, died. It, it, was... it had a turn. Gilmuk had a turn. Your character had a turn. It was dead. Yeah. I'm just reminding you that your weapon does more damage <clears throat> if, they are, if the guy is armored. Like you have more penetration, should I say? If the, if the yeah. Guys I was armored. about to get the killer can, killer can, but it was dead by the time I could even aim. He got killed sure. before you canned him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you killed him before you could whatever you would know. have canned him you canned my joke <laughs> that was uncanny it was alright gentlemen well I think this session's gone on long enough but uh, that was a lot of fun holy shit I will see you all next week yeah see you next week I'm still trying yes, to recover yes, from yes, what happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did be a little fast paced. Like a lot of, a lot of shit and chaos got thrown in that, didn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Emphasis I knew on it chaos. Be fun once... Yeah, I knew it'd be fun once you got. Uh, you're like, what the frickle frack is? I was expecting to blow up stupid orcs. What's this? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my exact thoughts. <laughs> Will Yo Monk's new character have standard gear as well? Well, if everything yeah, yeah, went yeah, smoothly... Yeah. It'll be probably, standard yeah. Space Marine stuff. No fancy, super upgraded Tech Marine nonsense yet. Okay. If, every, gone. if yeah. everything went smoothly and we completed every single mission, it wouldn't exactly be fun, would it? Yeah. It'd get mean, boring pretty quick. Could be. It'll, it'll get boring after a couple of missions for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's still new to me. It's still, well, it's still mission based. So well, dude, let me. Let me ask you something. After this session, are you not entertained? No. All right. No. <laughs> I don't need to answer that question. You already know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that poor sniper, though, Yo Mug. I know you liked him so much. Well, we died yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you both together. rode to Valhalla. Or whatever the. Nice Imperium day, day. Oh, was. Well, my character was indifferent to him. And he was, you know, that one point one success away from just flatlining him as well. <laughs> now you can have a body cop duo in not your life. Yes. Well, it was it, Karnoff who flatlined him. Yeah, it's cut him in half. Let's not get into that. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> uh Look, things happened, people died, it was chaos everywhere, but we stamped it down and we're, chaos? we got rid of it's that like chaos. Chaos? Yeah, chaos. chaos. Well, your characters are, oh, obviously, like you guys, you have no idea what the heck that was. Yep. So. Yes. I know what it is, but it's for you guys to find I'm, out. I'm glad you know what it is, Boko, considering you're the <laughs> Yeah, that'd yeah, be really yeah. sad if you didn't even know what it was. Yeah, no, 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 I, I knew, knew, knew exactly. I knew exactly what it was. It was like, yeah, the real chaos cool. infiltrated Boko himself. It was a crazed muskrat, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll um, see. Boko, that was a very nice twist. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. It took me a while to process what happened and try to recover it, but we're this is a nice twist. We're space marines. We only think. We don't... Or, I'm sorry. We don't think. <laughs> we don't we think only do. True. Right. Adapt and overcome. So yep. That's what you got, Marines. Adapt and overcome. Yeah, hopefully All me right. becoming leader and trying to deal with this is adapting and overcoming. Yeah, uh, I'm going to bail. All right. Yeah. Easy, hey, uh, Boko, could you add another sheet so I can make a character? Oh, yeah, I'll do that right away. Oh, sweet. Ditto for me, too, please. Yeah, yeah, and for me. Yeah, and for me, just in case. Awesome. You get a new character sheet. You get a new character sheet. You all get new character sheets. <laughs> all right, I'm Oprah, just, calm down. I'm just 
making a backup character just in case. Yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're good to have. All right, guys. I will see you all next week. Thanks for the fun. Yeah. All right. All right.